Happy heckin' Friday, it is Razor Fist Arcade, and you knew we were gonna play this one right here. It's funny, I had another game uh, scheduled, it was Shadows of Doubt, a game we were meaning to get to for some time. We will get to that game, it looks amazing, I was all set up, we're all good, probably for either sometime later this week or next week, next Friday. Whatever, whatever we decide to do, ultimately we are going to play Shadows of Doubt, but... I forgot the Dark Forces remaster was coming out. Yeah. Today! And I was like, okay, we gotta drop absolutely everything and play Dark Forces. They pretty much already said Jedi Knight's getting a remaster. I... I, I seriously, I could cut diamonds with my dick right now. Uh, we're good to go. I'm excited. Terran Gell, are you excited too? Uh, I can see your nipples over there. Uh... From this angle? <laughs> well, they're rather pointy. <laughs> I mean, they do stick out a foot. <laughs> right? He is using them as coat hangers, actually, while we're speaking. But anyways, so uh, I, do you have any past with, like, Dark Forces or Jedi Knight or any I, of these uh, I believe I uh, checked it out when I was, I was a kid. Really? Also, what, on, you... on, like, PC or what? Uh, yeah, I think it was, like, on a friend's PC or something. Right. But, um... Did you also happen to see that they're remastering the original Battlefronts? People are super psych uh, psyched about that. Yeah, that that's definitely gonna be cool. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna I'm getting her started right now. Sweet. Hope you guys saw Le Rant. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hope you guys saw Richie. I hear he did Bobby Lupo. <laughs> no, I hope you guys saw the rant, and of course I appeared on. Uh, uh, for canon's sake. What does turn you on? With, uh, Eric Jula. Had a good time on there. Talked a little bit about what's to come. I'm gonna come. Oh! <laughs> That's my favorite Trump clip. It has. Although, he's been putting out some bangers this last week. <laughs> Don't compare me to that mental midget. Oh, yeah. Let's check our levels. Make sure it's okay. Okay. I gotta turn this down? Yeah, you gotta turn it down. It's gonna be a bit loud. Yeah, I already know. Okay, how are we sounding now, dude? You can listen to our uh, test. Talk for me for a second. Ah. Say big black about... rubber baby buggy bumpers. I will talk about Paul, who donated a hundred. Hey, what's up? Uh, before we even started. You madmen. All right. That sounded better. Sounding better. We're all good. It's is it drowning us out still or? I would drop the music down a smidge, a hair. Okay. Now, uh, what about now, sir? There. That sounds a bit better. How do we go at about 25%? The, the MIDI music in this game is notoriously loud. Yeah. But, Paul, you donated 100. You didn't even get your notification. So. You didn't? My goodness, what happened? Because he donated it before the oh, stream. Oh, before the stream, of course. So. Oh, he's gonna. He's too excited to use this notification, so now we're gonna watch it. Okay, let's go. I will let you pick. Alright. Door number one, door number two, or door number three. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I have such a surfeit of options. Let's say. Uh, which one's the lady? Which one's the tiger? Uh, two! Door number two! Door number two. Let's see how it sounds. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are 35th president, I say, let the men be girls. Frank, I could use the extra mileage if you get me. Does anyone else feel a draft? <laughs> 1776 will commence again. <laughs> 
<laughs> JFK was a jerk. All right. Anyway, that got me to test one. I know now to turn it up a bit. Uh, and again, a lot of that is just because of the MIDI volume. All right. Anyways, so we are good. All right. All the volume levels look good now. So cool. All right, everyone. For, so for those who have never played Dark Forces, you're too young to be watching this stream. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Ugh. See, if uh, yeah, I forgot that you were going to switch the game up, I need to no uh, turn on all the Star Wars shit. Of course. And uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Absolutely. Because, I mean, you had to do this game. But for those who have never played Dark Forces, it is Star Wars Doom. <laughs> it's what it is. This was the age. This was the original first wave of... 3D first-person shooters, or quasi, like, 2.5D shooters, right? We're talking Wolfenstein. We're talking Doom, uh, Quake, Hexen, all that stuff. Uh, oh, and Duke Nukem and Shadow Warrior. We can't forget those. So, you know, this was the first wave. So, hey, why not slap a Star Wars skin on it? That was what was happening in PC gaming, by the way. Lucasfilm was basically just copying other people's games and putting a Star Wars skin on it. And they were amazing! They were amazing! <laughs> like, I don't even... <laughs> These games had no right to be as good as they are. I mean, break down all the best Star Wars games from the 90s, and it's a copy of something else. Every single one, yeah. right? Yeah. Dark Forces, copy of Doom. X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, copy of Wing Commander. Right? You just <laughs> down the line! <laughs> I love everything about that. All right, so... We're gonna go ahead... And confirm our mission. Are we ready, Terra? No, but let's start anyway. Okay, Mon Mothma. Now, what uh, mannish, bulldike voice would she have in 2024? Confidential message from Senator Mon Mothma. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alex Jones. Totally. Yeah, right. <laughs> the uh, Rebellion's counting on the completion of this mission, Commander Katarn. Also, the Bilderbergs. I hope success is on your side. The Death Star plans are locked away in Super Male Vitality Secret Base on the planet Denuda, where they await transport to Lord Vader. Very little's known about the layout of the base itself, so I'm afraid you'll have to act as your own reconnaissance. <laughs> Once you have the plans, get out immediately. Operation Skyhook, which is either the name of an operation or a shitty plot device in a Batman movie, uh, will deliver the plans to Princess Leia on the consular ship Tantive IV. She will then continue the mission. All right. Um, I don't know what the difference is on the difficulty. I literally haven't played this since the 90s. I really don't know. Welcome, Dan Vask. Hey, what's up? You're tasting steak as shit! <laughs> what am I saying? Sorry. Uh, he he's from South America. First, I have to explain the concept of food. Um, yeah. we'll I, oh. I kid. We, l we love you, Dan Dan. Not as much as your chamber boy, Jorge, but... Okay, we might need to turn down that, too. All right, turn that down. Oh, I didn't get a picture of him. Um, could you listen back to this? I'm listening. That, like, when I'm shooting the gun? Yeah, yeah. Pew, pew. Is it loud? Or are we good? It's a little loud, but I mean, as loud as you would expect. Okay. As long as it's not deafening us out, we're, we're good. Oh! No, 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 no. We're, we got our worried. first Stormtrooper rifle. Also, notice how every Star Wars gun has a scope and nobody uses them. Do you have a... Ah. Did they change that? I thought the use button in all the Dark Forces games was space. All right, whatever. All right, there we go. It even so it sounds like Doom. Woo! 
Oh, oh, who's shooting? Who's shooting? See, these stormtroopers can actually hit something. You're not stormtroopers. You're hitting your target. It's not allowed. We are playing as Kyle Katarn, the guy who actually stole the Death Star plans. Not a bunch of planeteer looking fruitcakes in an overrated Rogue One movie. I said it, that movie eats. It doesn't eat, it's just really long and boring. It's clearly made by somebody who doesn't like Star Wars. What's the... Right? Well, this was before that, believe it or not. They say Democrats are like the Hulk. They're big, they smell, and they should have gone extinct ages ago. What was that? It was John Redcorn. I knew, I thought it sounded like John Redcorn. <laughs> Christmas only comes once a year. But deal, it is wrong to take what does not belong to you. <laughs> John Redcorn. Anyway, food for thought. <laughs> Can I... There's no mantling system here, is there? Nope. Okay. They did a good job on the remaster, though. Let me take a look at... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enhancements. Enhanced sprites. Render mode. We're all good. Software, hardware. Okay, I was gonna... Let's get to these big ones. Yeah. Paul, thank you for that 100. I gave 200 before and told you video games are dangerous. They are designed to occupy our intellect and emotions, so we don't get involved in fixing society. Realize this after I spent 600 hours on Zelda Breath of the Wild. Just remember time is our most valuable resource. Be careful. Thanks, Grandpa Simpson. What a shame. <laughs> We have Cesario with the 20. On another channel, the topic that the U.S. almost fell into balkanization around the 1930s got brought up. Other than stuff like the bonus army protests and FDR's social... No, 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 no. we're not just going to escape past that one. Oh. The idea that consuming art on the conservative side is giving yourself over to wanton carnality and thereby handing over the country and all of your future generations over to societal despair and inevitable communist dictatorship is uh, BS. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not factual. <laughs> and not only that, it, the great irony... <laughs> is by doing this, you ultimately wind up uh, abandoning the culture war itself. And because you don't engage with it, it's it ceases to reflect you. So the irony, of course, is that a lot of the so-called conservatives... I saw a video with, uh, what's his name? Michael Knowles and uh, Andrew Claven. I like Andrew Claven normally, but they were talking about heavy metal music and how it's of Satan. <laughs> What? I just had to laugh because I know metal musicians that know more about the Bible than either of these goofs. But uh, it's a classic example of like why conservatives for decades handed over the culture war. First and foremost, they bought into the false Republican Democrat paradigm. They're both pro progressive parties. One is a 20th century progressive party. The other is a 19th century progressive party. But almost as kind of a corollary and an extension of that is this falsehood that you can't engage with culture, video games, comic books, blah, 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 because it's a waste of time and it just lulls you in a false sense of security. And it's hilarious because meanwhile, they also acknowledge that Democrats and the left own all of culture and they're propagandizing us with it are you not seeing the connection here you have retreated from the culture it will not reflect you retard you have to create art you can't just sit with your thumb firmly lodged in your dumper and cry about it what did i say in my iron age video you're I may have to disable alerts while I'm on a rant. Sorry. 
can't you can't just sit there and criticize it. What did I say in the Iron Age video, right? Don't cry about the culture. Become the culture. Don't be afraid to engage in entertainment because it's the only way it's ultimately going to affect you. You know, I, I, we, we appreciate the super chat and all that, uh, but I couldn't disagree more. What needs to happen is people of our, whatever, ideological persuasion. Do we have an ideological persuasion? People other than avowed Marxists need to be creating culture. That's what it is. And fortunately, thanks to the onset of the Iron Age and other, you know, attached... It's, it's not even a movement, it's just the name for a period of time, right? Thanks to what is happening here, just has happened organically, that's beginning to occur. So. Having fun is for commies. <laughs> <laughs> right? And the irony, of course, is the only reason we're having this conversation is, is because the right struck a number of really important, really visible blows in, like, the 2016 election cycle and just before that. And why was that? Because of battles over culture. Because for once, the right didn't just sit there and pretend that video games don't matter and pretend that movies don't matter, and they actually hit back on those fronts. And, oh, and you want to abandon that ground? You want to abandon that territory? Ask Chiang Kai-shek how abandoning territory ends. He abandoned it to the Japanese, and Chairman Mao was there to just gobble it right up. All right, here we go. Does this game have a real-time map? I forget. Yes, it does! Ooh. Well, Doom had one, so I just assume. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, we got an elevator. Oh. Wait. Woo! Yeah. Oh, what? Oh no, not the Tonka toy. What's that? Bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right. This is open now. Uh, I will read another one while the hatches are open. Star Wars stuff. Uh, we got an additional 50 from him. Very generous. Razor considering doing live streams on something more useful than games, says Paul. Uh, you can rant while changing a bicycle tire, cooking, and managing money. Uh, anyway. You mean all the things I already do because I'm an adult? I'm out for tonight. I love your rants. But we need to better ourselves to succeed. Godspeed. Yeah, you need to create something to succeed. You can't just sit there idly and impotent and then cry that the culture doesn't reflect your values. That's why I write. That's why I draw. By the way, those are considered idle pursuits by some. Music itself was warned against as an idle pursuit. That was actually one of the linchpins of the Reformation. People kind of don't acknowledge that as a major thing. It's no coincidence Martin Luther was a big music guy. Wrote a lot about it. There were forms of music that were banned at the time and things. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ah, balls. Bowls, 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 bowls. Tio, there is no Rogue One. It is Dark Forces plus Empire at War. Okay, you are correct, sir. Hey. Okay, I already went here. Want more? There's gotta be more up in that elevator area. It's gotta be more. Greetings. Celebrating the release of my second book. This one, self-published. One day in, and already in double-digit sales. I Sweet. suspect the Razor Force is responsible. Looking forward to Ghost of the Badlands, and may the Schwartz be with you. By the way, got a little message from George just a moment before we went live. Do you know what he said? What? Inks are done. Gasp. From beginning to end, the comic is finished. 
the monochrome version of the comic is done. Uh, we're, of course, going to have a redraw phase and a, 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 a dialogue pass and all the standard stuff you do when you actually care about what you're making. But uh, we're done, folks. That's a wrap for Ghost of the Badlands. It is uh, coming to a mailbox near you. No, that's the area where you fall down. That's right. Okay. Michael McLeod. Of yeah, the Clan I've McLeod. been here. Thank you for the 20. Thoughts on Bruce Dickinson's Mandrake Project album? Uh, I'm not a big Bruce Dickinson solo band guy at all. Just not. Never have been. It's like, and probably it's not fair to him because... When he left Iron Maiden, it was because he could not have been more burned out. Like, dude, Iron Maiden, nobody tours like Iron Maiden. Nobody. He was just burned to a crisp, that guy, at the time. So it's, it's like, kind of, in a way, it's unfair. Like, I was not getting the best version of Bruce Dickinson. From what I hear, some of his late 90s albums are a little better, but I don't know. None of them, everything I've listened to of the Bruce Dickinson stuff has not been terribly impressive. All right, let's see here. Okay, there's got to be more up here that I missed. Okay, we opened that. Josh, thank you for that 20. Didn't say anything, but it is appreciated. Word. Uh, Bartimaeus, boomer mentality of blank media is bad. It's the reason why we lost so much ground to commies in the first place. 100%. We retru Once you understand the history of communism, you know what a pernicious idea that actually is. The right abandoned Hollywood. There was once a right Hollywood and a left Hollywood. And around the 60s, the conservatives, the right in America, just walked away from Hollywood. And all these years later, you can see the effects of that. You bemoan that, right? You talk about how bad things have gotten. Well, that was one of the things that helped things get this bad. That changed people's values. The entertainment that they consumed changed their values. Shaped their values. Oh, here we go! Is this doom enough for you, Terran? This is too easy. Now I get to my ship. <laughs> Good lord. It even looked like the red card, but it's the Death Star plant. Woo! Yeah! Kevin B. The it man reminds the band. me of the first ep the first episode of Farscape, or maybe it's the second one. Eat giant yellow balls of light. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kevin B. The man in the van. Thank you for that twenty and the hug sticker. Hey, it's Jan. I need some Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the death they remastered but even as the, the cutscenes another sinister in a big way set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the rebellion. A bunch of bad spin-offs. Oh yeah, they remastered these in a big way. Dude, look how that looks! If you've ever seen these cutscenes before. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be They need to do this for X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. The Jedi Knights. At last the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claim. Proceed. Another lost cause, er. Dark Trooper, release. 
What even is that? Oh, here they come! Cutscenes at 60 FPS? What? What? They did a great job on the cutscenes. It looks so crisp. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord. We're Peter. calling it the Alan Parsons Project. So I'm over here Thank still being a dude. Responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Still Our better casting than the new Star Wars movies for Mon Mothma. In the city of this is Oh, Admiral Akbar! Green Death? Kyle Katarn! 90s Edgelord! Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all Kyle Katarn doesn't reach his final form until he has the beard in the second game. His Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. <clears throat> a new type of stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Trooper of Color. Take out a rebel base that quickly? <laughs> the Soul Brother <laughs> Trooper. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. They tell us the Goyim found out. <laughs> <laughs> this could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my I want my Asian waifu. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Yep. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Please don't slice her head off in the second game. All young bitches want to do is pop their <laughs> smoke weed, get drunk, play <laughs> around, suck dick, eat hot Cheetos, charge their phones, get a <laughs> weave, twerk, be bisexual, eat McDonald's, wash their pussy in the sink, <laughs> lie, take selfies, and talk shit through Wi-Fi because they phone never on. Because they phone never on. All right. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance in the area, and it's swarming with... Okay, yeah, the power's still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator. We're still messing around with hydroelectric... They haven't found nuclear power yet in Star Wars land. Uh, the Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new Dark Trooper we've been hearing about through Crix Medine. Okay. Find and restart the hydroelectric power generator. Find some clue about the Dark Troopers. Okay, sounds pretty simple. Gonna start up a generator. I don't know. Worked out really well for Obi-Wan in the first movie. I, I, I figure... Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be cool. All right, so this is what we're working with. I love his pistol. Paul donated another 50. Uh, your points on culture are well taken. I have some considering to do, but entertainment is a luxury. I became a multi-millionaire in my 30s. Be a work over fun. I will continue to love your rants, but consider a live stream of anything besides video. 
I, I do I do live streams that are non-video. I are non-video games. Oh. Yeah, I live stream uh, during debate season. I tend to live stream the debates and do live commentary on them. Uh, I do the Razor Force Offensive, which we're going to be starting up again, and I also am going to be doing the new series Iron Age Attacks, which are those are all going to be live streamed. Dude, his blaster is boss. Oh, oh. Doesn't he have like an area light thing? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna figure this out. I think and, he, I think he does have a flashlight. And Al with a fifty. Okay. Thank you so see. much. Control options. Control binds. All right, there we go. We can manage our hobbies and responsibilities. I work hard, make great money, play games, buy comics, etc. A kid I work with sees this and sees me feed a $500 a week comic habit and now comes over to my area to learn so he can too. Headlamp. There we go. Okay. That's the culture. There we are. All right. Well put. Woo! Eh! Eh! Over the blast doors! Over the blast doors! Alright, fine. Over my burn carcass! <laughs> oh, and all donated again. Thank you for the 20. He says to Al, good reply. My concern lies with people who aren't yet successful. I've seen many people consumed by entertainment while complaining about I, I think that's true, but I would argue, and I, I think a food for thought on that is, have you noticed that a lot of people who do nothing but consume entertainment usually have another issue? Like... Yeah. Like they smoke pot or they drink too much or yeah, yeah. or uh, or they might have a mental disorder or And in that case, I think video games are more of a salve than a cause. Oh. That was a turret or something. I'm like, no, it's just a Star Wars parking meter apparently. Wow, you can destroy them. I love it. I'm wasting ammunition. You know, Star Wars laser ammunition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if, if Mass Effect 2 can get away with the heat clips and still be considered the best by a bunch of people. What are we charging by the laser? Right? Yes! <laughs> Ever had LASIK? Jesus. Uh, he continues, while complaining about their lack of success in the world, they need to cut back on the luxury. All right, here we go. Shlomo Bagelstein, do you have a burning desire to serve your country? <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it your fiery passion to fly high in the sky? <laughs> then light a fire under your career. Oh, no. And join the Air Force today. Oh, no. I should have played Burden for You by Blue Oyster Cult before the stream, I think. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is my gun beeping at me? Why did my gun beep at me? What happened? I don't Maybe remember. I don't remember the gun beeping. Maybe it's the thermal clip. No, nothing? Okay, fine. Right. <laughs> Tomok, <laughs> Asian waifu, might I recommend Yomiko Redman? What? Readman? 
I don't know who that is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, spray and pray! Nothing is over! Karen, did you hear Embracer is selling Saber Interactive? No, I hadn't heard that. Selling who? Saber Interactive. What did they make? I can't recall off the top of my head. Let me look them up. Saber. I know they've been selling some stuff because they, they just... Plain and simple, Embracer expanded too fast. And again, it's look... The longer time goes on, the conspiratorial side of myself says, was this just an elaborate laundering operation to turn around and sell these companies for even less? to someone else who wanted them. They're making Space Marine 2 and that stupid Jurassic Park survival game. Okay. Well, nothing of value was lost there. Wow. Oh, they also made the Evil Dead game and war, uh, World War God. Z Aftermath. Whatever will we do? Maybe have one month without Warhammer shovelware? I don't know. Jeez. They made a couple of good games. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Brazen Brand says, save free Palestine when the thermal detonator starts to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forget if this game has a flamethrower or not. Um... Oh, hey. Infrared goggles. The 90s writers love the infrared goggles. Okay, well, I don't see the point of that, but I think that's just the hydroelectric generator, so... Patrick and Batman. All right. Here at the Razor Force, we work hard and play hard. Taryn, why did you take me to a gay steel mill? <laughs> Oh, you stop! <laughs> because they play the best deep house music you've ever heard. Right. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through. Um, find some clue to the dark trooper. Okay. Sir Ubisoft, can you do This Is My Rifle, This Is My Gun by Jesse Ventura? I can't. I don't think. This is my rifle. This is my gun. Well, I can do Jesse Ventura. I just don't know that speech. Yeah. My box has VD. Trust me. <laughs> you know, just for the f shits and giggles, we should watch that again on your phone. Oh, game. man. Oh, man. And watch the crappiest transfer we can possibly find, too. <laughs> like, like a bargain basement VHS rip DVD or something. I do love that we got to Abraxas before Rift Tracks did. Yeah, yeah, That was yeah. amazing. I was like, all right. Woo! Makes me wonder if we inspired them. Oh, I doubt it. Well, we also got to Rock and Roll Nightmare before they did. Of course, we were earlier in the game than we give ourselves credit for. We started in 2009, and a lot of those episodes were from 2009. Uh, TV's Hank. Other than Terran, what's your favorite fruit? Hey! You watch it. <laughs> uh, well, Dan Vask is still with us, I think. Uh, Buzzing. <laughs> Love you. All right, here we go. What's this? One man army. Hmm. Underrated classic right here. Good pick. Hey, Under no underrated system. today. Dude, back then. Yeah, no back then, everyone had this game. You missed the button, apparently. Probably. I don't know where. That doesn't, that doesn't help. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Button, Mr. Button, Mr. Button. 
Uh, it was five polygons back. I don't know. There was a super chat that was super quiet. Worst stream ever. Ah, uh, could this be it? There we are. Let me listen back to it. I found it. You're in I'm, I'm in violation of something, but I'll never know what it is now. Oh, it was that one. That one's always quiet. I should honestly, uh... Go back and, like, redo that one. Just turn up the volume. Alright. The door was made by Sony. Okay, gotcha. Whoa! Oh! I heard someone. Someone was shooting at me. Supercharge shield! Where have I seen that before? Uh, Paul, once again, with a 50. More than a salve than a cause. Uh, Razor, I think we've reached a meeting of the mind. Anyway, I'm finally leaving. Keep being awesome with your rants. Love to ch love the chat. I just want your success. Just remember, nobody owes you anything, so you gotta grind. Very, very true. Unless, of course, you're a bookie. And you were very generous tonight, Mr. Millionaire. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, thank you so much. Oh, my super shield is off. I think that's what that is. It's a notification that your super shield is done. Uh, that's a dumb hat! Wearing a walk on his head. Oh, boy. Here we go. Are you ready to go to hell? What did I open? Who the hell did I hit? Emperor Creatine. My name is Owen Lars, and I can no longer stand by while the Empire commits a genocide against the peaceful, <laughs> non-violent <laughs> sand people. <laughs> ah, free Tatooine. Oh, Jesus. Ah. I'd like to know how many psychiatric medications that dude was on. Not enough, apparently. Just the way he wrote his Reddit posts, you could tell... ...he had more than a touch of the tism. Straight to hell! Him, certainly, yeah. Weepy, thanks for the 20. What are your thoughts about the... On what constitutes something being canon? People usually say whatever the author or the owner says is canon. But can Disney Star Wars be canon if it literally breaks lore and how space travel works? No, I think these things kind of become. Go ahead, Kyle. Like Hold on. Something that can help us out. Get back to the landing. Oh my God! I sound like a stormtrooper. I don't know. Let me put it to you first, Taryn, because I have my thoughts. What do you think as far as what's canon? Because this is becoming a bigger problem now that we have some of our favorite franchises. Indiana Jones, Star Wars, and such. Uh, Mar all the Marvel stuff. Even DC, right? Owned by Warner Brothers. Um, I think... They're in the hands of a-holes who don't really care about them. Exactly. So. My thoughts are... It's the same way with video games. We had this discussion about Bioware. It's uh, the ship of Theseus. Bioware isn't Bioware anymore. Yep. So at what point do the games just stop mattering? It's kind of the same way with Star Wars and canon in any fiction. You get a bunch of like ghost writers, you get a bunch of people who own an IP. Right. 
And not the cool ghost rider that floats in the air, hangs out with kids, and solves mysteries. Yeah, but the kind that just writes crap to make right. money. Right. So it's like, people in Star Wars, people still ex uh, consider the, what they call the expanded, extended universe or whatever, to be canon. This. This is canon to people. This was canon. Exactly. Jo George Lucas signed off on this. Exactly. He had a direct hand in the expanded universe. And while not all of it is stellar, none of the Disney stuff is stellar. This is what people grew up with. This is canon. Disney doesn't just get to come in and say, no, we bought it. We're making new canon. Oh, let's... That's not up to them. I think even you brought up that point. Didn't you, like, in a tweet or something at some point, say, like, oh, that's cute. You think you get to decide? Or, yep. These things belong to... You know, it's, it's Battletech, right? Same thing with Battletech right now. It kind of belongs to the fans. The fans kept it alive. Fossa died. And it was the fans who kept it alive. Catal Catalyst had dick all to do with that. And by the time Catalyst, quote unquote, took over, it, meaning they're borrowing the license for a while, because they don't own it, it had already been kept alive by the fans, right? We God, go watch some of my videos from 2010, 11, where I mentioned Battletech and Mech Warrior and stuff. There was nothing happening with that. Nothing. And Catalyst already had the rights to some of that stuff. They were doing nothing with it. Nothing. No one cared. The fans kept it alive, and the fans decide what it is. Don't it's believe just me. how it is all sometimes. It's all in the numbers. Literally, it's all in the numbers. Just look at the sales figures. Yeah. The fans don't own it, you know, but but that is what it is. Can you? I think the best ownership situation is one of the reasons I'm kind of a copyright absolutist. One of the best ownership situations is you educate your kid on the import of the thing that you've created. You hand it off to your kid, and he, he does the same with his kid. That, to me, is ideal. A Christopher Tolkien situation. Unfortunately, with, with Christopher Tolkien, he was hamstrung somewhat by the fact that some of the rights to Lord of the Rings in movies and whatever had already been sold off before he got a hold of the franchise. So Christopher Tolkien didn't okay a lot of the crap that happened during his lifetime. And he certainly wouldn't have okayed a lot of the crap that has come after his lifetime. Where is that landing area? Can you imagine how many ray figures that they had to send to the landfill? Oh, no kidding. I mean, you see them all the time. If you go, to, go into, like, Target or whatever, you see them. All right. Cool. Alongside the black wheelchair Santas, I mean. We're Milan in area. Oh, that's what I thought. Nice purple sky, though. A woman driver. Never thought I'd see the dick. It's a weapon of some sort. Found the symbol M R on the barrel. On the barrel, the signature of an infamous weapon specialist named Moff Rebus, a real character known for his paranoia and extreme loyalty to the Empire. He may be our next lead to the to the Dark Trooper. Rebus has hidden himself somewhere deep within the sewage system under the city of Anoat. He has engineered an elaborate series of drain gate switches designed to thwart any intruders from discovering the route to his lab. First, activate these switches, then your search for Rebus may begin. Beware, it is likely that Rebus has surrounded himself with guard droids and the largely unexplored sewer maze may hold other dangers as well. Remember, we need both of you back alive. I'll have the decontamination shower warmed up and ready. Very suggestive, Jan. 
All right, let's see here. Sure, Jan. I don't think you can save anywhere in this game. I think it's just a checkpoint-based thing. All right. Illegitimate film. Thank you for the 20. Instead no, speaking of, of Disney Star Wars. Instead of screaming Free Palestine while flailing and burning, I picture Aaron Bushnell screaming, Starlight Express, Starlight Express, like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joseph Young. Oh, you're actually going to stick around this time, Jan? What's the occasion? Your move, creep. Work is mandatory to survive. But entertainment is the means by which people engage with and reinforce their individual understanding of their own culture. You fundamentally cannot have a lasting value system without it. Yeah, it, I mean, look at some of the things that constituted information, and, or constitute entertainment, rather, in prior generations. Books, these were a luxury at one point. And not just a luxury in the way we see video games now, a real luxury. Many, many, many families during the frontier period had two books in their home. They had the Holy Bible and the complete works of William Shakespeare. That's that's a luxury, friends. Do it. But that was entertainment. Whoa, whoa! You're not sticking that syringe in me. No, you're not sticking Bill Gates' metal pecker in me! Nice. Mick F, thank you for the 20. Thank you for the uh, probe droid design, Mobius. Alright, let's see. Howdy, here. Razor. I make no apologies, nor beg forgiveness for the following action. Uh-huh. Oh, Fellow yeah. Razor fans, the time has come. Execute order PX P90X. <laughs> All hail Anakin Rep Walker. No, oh, no! <laughs> we have brought keto, protein, and whey to our new gym pyre. <laughs> Oh, the, these are the switches. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, watch out! Somebody really needs to edit People that video. Pay money to see this. Somebody stuff. really needs to edit that video with. Uh, He's holding a thermal detonator. Anyway. Mr. E, French Canadian director, doesn't like words which are usually in English in movies. What a shocker. <laughs> Have you seen his interviews? You'd understand why he's not a big fan of words. Hello, Camelot. That and when your eyes are all fucked up. The guy's he's got he's got the Ryan Gosling eyeballs going on. Waterfall? Camelot says I played Dark Forces 2 on a white old desktop PC from the 90s. Nice! Why'd it have to be white, though? Why it gotta be a honky computer, huh? Uh oh! Oh no! Oh, I forgot about this. The trash compactor monster thing. <gasps> Emperor Creatine. From Jabba's palace to the Dune Sea. 
Tatooine shall be free. <laughs> Also, the only reason Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings turned out so good is because he basically swore an oath not to inject politics into and, it. And here's the sad fact. Christopher Tolkien, not a fan of those movies. Not a fan of those movies. And honestly, J.R.R. Tolkien would not have been a fan of those movies. For the same reasons. I love them. They are good movies. They could be better Lord of the Rings movies, if that makes sense. They're definitely not the... They're definitely not the book. Okay, that's... Ah! I think Chris to Yes! <laughs> Say it. Yes! I'm literally in deep shit right now. Ah! Alright, there we go. Okay. But yeah, if I remember correctly, Chris Tolkien literally said they took an imp They took a layered novel and turned it into an action movie. <laughs> or something like that. All right, let's see here. Okay. I think we need to get back to that switch. Captain Teebs, thank you for that uh, twenty-seven ninety-nine. God, I hope they remaster Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Currently on mission 12, listening to the stream while I play. Okay, we got another door here. Well, hello. Okay, can I? <sighs> All right, whatever. Let's just go down here. Please, monster, don't don't be down here. Don't don't. <laughs> no, no, it is not. No, it's not. Ashley, in regards to games, our parents and their parents ran away from culture to their house and picket fences. There's a phrase. I'm forgetting what the name of the term is. Is it train collecting syndrome? Anybody... Ever anybody heard this term? It's kind of it loses something in translation. It's a German idea because it's kind of a German peculiarity. You notice this with a lot of people of German descent. That when, this is one of the reasons Hitler came to power, and one of the reasons Weimar Germany got so bad, and a lot of probably a big reason why Germany's in the absolute state it is today. That when Germans get really really stressed out. They retreat from culture and they go collect trains. They start messing around with model trains. Right? Like, that's how they cope with stress. By just disengaging, not dealing with the problem, and focusing on something super detailed and super meaningless. Yeah, yeah. Keeping themselves busy. Someone's still around, but I don't see him. Uh, I can't get up there. Oh, I thought I saw him. The new guy, thank you for the 20. From your stellar review, I played a Plague Tale Requiem. Incredibly heavy game, equally beautiful and horrifying. The ending left me very sober. A wonderful cast and Charlotte Bernie's first ever professional role. Really?
Peter, so what you're saying is the Germans are autistic. Kinda. It would explain a lot. It would. <laughs> or so the Germans would have us believe. Yikes! Oh, oh! Walking contradiction. Listening to the stream while welding. T Boogie, don't take any crap for Razor. His weakness is the purple of purple. Alright, here we go. Creature 96. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Idiots on fire outside the gates of embassies. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched tunnel shoes scatter in the light <laughs> in New York. All these moments will be forgotten in weeks. Like a bloody mattress. Okay. Was that this? Pontius Porcus. Porcus. I don't have credits, so have something more real. <laughs> is Watto like the most based character in that movie? You know, apart from the owning slaves thing. Uh. Republic credits are no good out here. I need something more real. Stealth Creations. Thoughts on Arkhaven payment deep platforming. Yeah, um, so... I've been meaning to make this announcement. The reason I've been deferring to make it is because I plan to do a Razor Force offensive video that's going to be, or, or a stream rather, of it that's going to be a pretty cool. Um, what do you call 125 million <laughs> five years? Work in progress. Uh, and I knew that that would be a good, a good place to like let everyone know. But yeah, so... Unauthorized TV got de their their payment processor got deplatformed. So if you're subscribed, if you were subscribed on unauthorized to watch our Depths of DS9 videos, you have been unsubscribed forcibly by the payment processor. Um, they're working on that. I think they've already found a pretty good partner as far as that goes. It's going to be sorted out right quick. I've already talked to you know the owners of unauthorized and whatnot about it. So. It's like, it's pretty much a speed bump, but it's, it's kind of good because they're going to wind up with a better partner and whatever. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know probably in a video form and, or something, maybe at the beginning of a, of a Razor Force offensive live stream, um, you know, how you can jump back on. I, I don't know if you can sign up again yet, but I'm going to let you guys know because yeah, uh, apparently it was. Because they're pretty autonomous. That's the whole point of unauthorized TV. They process a lot of their own stuff. But for some reason, this was some kind of legacy thing. This is like a legacy thing in the background that had been around for a while. And, you know, we're heading into election year. I'm sure that had something to do with it. Uh, out of nowhere, they decided to deplatform them as a payment processor. As it happens... They were already looking into other payment processors and maybe even making one of their own, so... It's it's so wild that it could just happen out of nowhere. Yeah, there was no inciting event either. It was... I think they used as an excuse Owen, Owen Benjamin's on there. I think, I think he said that was the problem. I can't remember. But imagine... Like, how how can you not take that to court? Oh, your video website has this person on it that we don't like, so now you can't bank. What the fuck? Yep. Well, uh, see also Canada. Uh, 
Okay, so there was a there was a room that I couldn't get into, but I opened a door in it. Long sips. That video I uploaded yelling about how my manager fixed my sink is at 1.3 million views in one week with 48,000 likes. I'm officially famous, haha. Here we go. Okay, good. This will get us back where we need to go as far as the switch is concerned. Perfecto. Dustin the Grim. All right. Good news, gents. Looks like Louisiana is now officially a constitutional carry state. Glad to be a part of the CC Brotherhood. Nice! Oh Maid my! Popper? Oh my! Uh. Tomorrow is my birthday. Can I have a god fucking speed? Godspeed! Let us herald your eminent demise. Oh. Is that guy stuck or something? I thought I saw him. I knew it! Oh! Ladies, gentlemen, we got him. Generic name here. Thank you for the 20. Ah, a timeless classic. Now what's your take on the Ripperverse detractors slithering out of the corners? I, everyone's got detractors. There's, there's always drama. I, I mean, I have the same thoughts uh, as on my detractors. Everyone's got them. If you've done anything on the internet, you've got detractors. Miss me with that drama. Have you seen any gameplay of Helldivers? Remember, service guarantees citizenship. Yeah, I have. Wow. King Cracker. Wonder what that opened. What about the f maybe try at the beginning, the first one? King Cracker, thank you, Terran, for lifting your curses on me. Doing much better this week. On a better note, I am down almost 30 pounds since January. Cut out sugary foods, soda, etc. You can do it, bros. Very nice. Man. I don't know where that room was or how I could get into it. All right, whatever. I could see it right in front of me, but they wouldn't let me in. up here oh, that just takes me back to the beginning not sure this is enough of a maze it sucks I I flipped the switch I needed to but now I just can't get into the room huh okay let's try going back here and examining this a little more closely Mr. E. Godspeed, Virgil. Virgil? Yeah, Virgil died. 
Virgil who? WWE star Virgil. Oh, oh no, I didn't hear that. Yeah. That's terrible. Oh man, I keep getting back to this room. Bruce Campbell's chin. Forget Helldivers 2, bring on Greedfall 2. Yes! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! MC Corleone, thoughts on Charles Murray's research on welfare policy? He what? said Trump and the MAGA movement isn't talking about fiscal conservatism uh, or small government. Eh, they, they kind of aren't, I agree. Uh, but, on the plus side and in the plus column, Through Trump, people like Rand Paul, for example, have become more prominent, and they do talk about those things. President Newcomb, thank you for those gifted subs. So where, how do I get in here? Ah, Remember? here we go, here we go, here we go. If you got gifted a sub, say thank you. Okay, okay. I should have had my map open. That was my first mistake. I should have known. I've played Doom enough times. You've always got to have the map open. Always. Second door, people are saying. That's two. Uh, uh. Lampshade. So, uh, that Google Gemini sure lost a lot of money. Didn't it, though? Surely the Black Nazis and PDF file defending had nothing to do with it. Right? Right? Did that seriously happen with the Google... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Was it that, or... I thought that was chat GPT or something. How hilarious is that, by the way, that they pulled a Call of Duty? You remember when Call of Duty and Activision were trying to be more diverse, so they put black Nazi women in fucking... Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Call of Duty! <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, I will try to get to more of you. Uh, see if I can read ones that aren't questions. Shaggy Rogers book reviews. Just ordered a copy of Death Mask. Can't wait to review it. And Ghost of the Badlands. Godspeed. Thank you, Lumpy. Uh, writing my next review as we speak. And Scott Steiner, the world's greatest ring announcer. Hollywood rocks still more over than Cody. Dayan. Was recently rendered disabled due to a bunch of health problems. But with my work ethic, I just tripled up on my 2S and 3D art. Mostly Battletech pinup titties and Battletech pinup titties. Godspeed. Okay, I am back. Well, congratulations. I hope your health gets better, man. Yeah, with that work ethic, maybe you could do some things to improve your health a little bit. You might apply that work ethic to uh, maybe some healthier habits, some exercise, whatever exercise you're capable of at this point. I don't know your exact situation, but... What's over here? What's over here? Okay, so somebody said... Somebody did not say that. Unless that somebody is me. Lane Bear, yay. Dear Razorman, you, among other Iron Age fellows, have given me the impetus to get off my arse and finally write the novel and TTRPG I have been sitting on for seven-ish years. 
Become the culture and God fucking speak. It's never too late. I started writing the world of Night Vale. I created the world of Night Vale when I was 10. All right. Yep, this is right. Okay, we're good. Why would it be the second door? There is no logic to that at all. All right, whatever. Why did it have to be snakes? Toxic mix. Think of it as funny. Let's say. Oh, secret door! I see how it is. I'll uh, say this properly. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Alderaan was peaceful. How many weapons is no weapon? Zero on the whole planet. Hypothetically, do we attack a military target? She's not gonna. Hypothetically, name was it six Gorillion weapons, or was it? She's just gish galloping. What's, what's down here? Is the great mighty poo down here, or what's that? What is that? What is? What are you? Uh, 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 let me down. There's something down there. Something down there. That's ah, just a super shield. I don't even care, honestly. Yeah, I got a little glimpse of it. It looked like a super shield. Okay, I, now I heard a probe droid. For those who don't realize, by the way, Star Wars didn't technically rip off Mobius's design. They kind of hired him on. Mobius did some art design on Empire Strikes Back. And I think also on Return of the Jedi. But he was kind of uncredited, and he was not technically part of the art team. It was a weird situation. He did a lot of that in Hollywood. He designed a lot of stuff for Tron, for example. But he, that wasn't the only thing that he worked on. And it's funny, because... Mobius and Jean-Claude Mézières of course, were hired as art designers on the fifth element, and you can see it, like, on the screen. But, Anki Bilal, who's, you know, also a French comic artist, Anki Bilal made, like, two movies before the fifth element in the late 80s. He directed them himself. And, uh, they're basically a prelude to fifth element. <laughs> like, I have a feeling Luc Besson may have watched those movies. Tycho, uh... Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Bunker Hotel and Tycho Moon. There it, is. there it is. I knew I heard it. All right, cool. You don't have any idea how awesome it is that this game came out this week so we don't have to play that shit Final Fantasy remake? Yeah. Well, don't pretend like we could even try it. it neither of us owns a PlayStation 5. Alright. Lampshade. Ooh, there we go. Also, best cover that objectively improved the original. I nominate both Motorhead's Whiplash cover and oh, yeah. Dio's and Malmsteen's Dream On cover. Mmm, that's a good one. Uh, M Motorhead's Enter Sandman is way better than the Metallica version. Way, way better. Um... Dang. Ooh, Ingve Malmsteen's Gimme, Gimme, Gimme by ABBA. G your jaw will hit the floor at how good this cover is. He covered ABBA. Duke Nukem 3D with a Star Wars skin. No, 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 no. You mean Doom with a Star Wars skin. Uh... 
can't let you do that, Kyle. Is it? Did they have to give? Did they have to give the door switches eyeballs? Was that necessary? Cousin Eddie, given the level of who, would this be? Oh, sorry, would those be anal probe drugs? Oh, gross. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, never mind. Okay, we found our man. Yeah, I found Mom Rebus. I'm ready to get out of this mess. Is he an amputee? There we go. All right. He wouldn't reveal much under questioning, but during one of his rants, he revealed, the builder birds are putting black helicopters in our water. Um, you should have seen the results of our tests on Fest. My weapons are going to put a lot of holes in a lot of rebel scum. Crix Maydine has confirmed the existence of an Imperial weapon site on the planet Fest, doing metallurgical research on new alloys. Knowing what kind of metals they're using will give us definite clues to the dark troopers i'll drop you into an old landing area for outside the uh, far outside the base surrounded by rocky cliff areas be careful one bad move and you'll be a crater the base itself is buried deep within the rock just outside the israeli embassy no um not really let's see here you're gonna leave a really large black stain kyle got some kingsford lighter fuel and a Let us see. How amazing is like? Can you imagine being so broken inside? Take politics out of it. Take Israel out of it. Take Palestine out of it. Take Jews and Muslims out of it. Take all of that out of it. Israel and Palestine is the latest cause celebre that was supposed to end the world in a long, sad line of cause celebre that were supposed to end the world. Right? Yeah. Let's just go back and have a convert. Let me just say two words to you right now. Let me just say these two words. Murder hornets. Anyone remember this? Anyone? That's how quick the news cycle is moving. Murder hornets were supposed to end the world. We were supposed to erupt in a burning ball of flame. And now we got servicemen doing likewise over something that just like murder hornets... Yes, yes, we know Israel and Palestine is an order of magnitude, a bigger deal than those. But the way it's being treated in the media, the way it's being pushed, the way it's, the way both sides are latching onto it in partisan fashion mirrors that in every way. It's imagine killing yourself, having a permanent death. <laughs> there are no response, folks. Because of something that is basically the cause celebre of this moment and will be forgotten in 15 minutes by even the most strident socialist on Reddit. The, the term, what a waste, like doesn't even scratch the surface. But, but Razor, the killer bees, they're coming. <laughs> it's the 90s again. Right? Let's go back. We to basically, the 70s. yeah, it's it is the '90s again. We've replaced killer bees with murder hornets. We've replaced Rottweilers with pit bulls. Right? We got the same hysteria going on with both of those. <laughs> God, remember the '90s Rottweiler hysteria? All right, here we go. And of course, Israel and Palestine was a big story in the '90s. Let's go back to the 70s. Global cooling. Oh, yes. Love you, Leonard Nimoy, but that was a slightly embarrassing chapter in your storied career. Eat my slam, witch. Razor. Dutch telling Arthur we need to send more money to the Ukraine to stop Putin. <laughs> also, something about... Did you them see, dude, did you see Zelensky... 
coke sniffing his way through that interview about how he needs more money. Oh my god. Dude, he was geeked! Oh, and then also mention the mango trade. The, the, the mango what? Dutch telling Arthur we need to send more money to Ukraine to stop Putin. And then something about the mango. <laughs> We've got to repel Putin, Arthur. Just 15 more billion. Got to put ourselves permanently in debt, Arthur, for our money laundering mangoes. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh my. This kind of reminds me of that stage from Shadows of the Empire. You know the one. Which, that would be a cool... Yeah. Wouldn't that be a cool game to remake, by the way? With some modern controls? Because the controls are rough on that. Go watch our... We did a stream of Shadows of the Empire. They, they did remaster it. It looks good. We need to fund Ukraine to defund Tahiti. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh... I do like how it suggests that there's like an in-universe Karl Marx kind of guy. And that... Uh... Dutch Vanderlind is an avid reader of him. Oh, really? Yeah, he's always reading his stuff, and it's like weird labor kind of... And then you meet the... There's a side quest later in the game where you meet that author, if, if you do the side quest. And you explain how Dutch sees him and his ideas, and he's like, that's not what I meant at all, that's a bunch of BS. <laughs> Taryn, did you see the video of James O'Keefe with the judge? Oh, oh my god. I saw the thumbnail. I didn't actually watch it. What? 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 T talk to me. He... Uh, uh, it, it basically persuaded the guy to have a workout that was... Go watch it, folks. Just go watch it. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some. Dick. There you go. There, I ju you just explained the video. Uh, that was perfect timing, by the way. <laughs> Whoever sent that, you're a mensch. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, Mike. Busy weekend ahead of me. Whoa, whoa, I'm whoa, 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 whoa! Get out of here, Tonka toy. I'm going to an NRA banquet tomorrow and Jordan Peterson Sunday. I'll be sure to brush up on my FUD war. Oh, well, God. And Remember to utter the phrase, two world wars. And wash my penis. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Okay, Peter, good. could you do Trump rejecting Biden's Republic credits? <laughs> Frankly, Biden, I think you're ripping me off on trade. I think I'm going to need something more real. Not Republic credits. All right. Parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? Or, or that. That also would work. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting shot from somewhere. What the? Somebody up there? Who is shooting? Oh, it's a turret! Clever girl. Let's use Kyle's blaster. I wonder if... Nice. Steal thyself away, pet. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever made a replica of Kyle's blaster. It's pretty boss. Oh. Morgan, that airman died doing what he loved. 
being a flamer. <laughs> All right. The new guy, thank you for the 20. Oh, no! Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna I have don't to... mean to harp on a Plague Tale Requiem. Just beat it. Wondering how much you personally enjoyed it. I thought it was a great example of historical fiction, character writing, and horror. It was fantastic. It's interesting from beginning to end. The stealth... And the level design was greatly improved. There were a lot more ways to account. Well, actually, shoot, you can watch. I talk about all this, by the way. I did a video review of the game. Because um, I I really regretted not reviewing A Plague Tale Innocence. Um, so I kind of made up for it. I basically made the first quarter of the Requiem video a review of Innocence. Because that game was great. It flew under the radar for a lot of people. Put it this way, uh, here's how badly Innocence and Requiem, A Plague Tale, Innocence and Requiem flew under the radar. When the Game Awards nominated, rightfully, uh, Requiem for an award, which it should have won, the public poll called it French Rat Game. <laughs> That's what it was. What? That's the kind of uh, respect that uh, A Plague Tale Requiem got from the Jeff Keighley press, right? So, it, it was a shame. It flew out of the radar, but I thought the first game was way more linear. It was a good story, but it was kind of Last of Us-ish, and it gets called that, right? Like, medieval plague Last of Us. The second game is less so. They deepen the stealth. It's The gameplay, I think, is a lot better. The boss fights and stuff... I normally don't like boss fights in stealth games, but here's why I don't mind them in Requiem. Their purpose is to make you feel weak, not strong. The problem with boss fights in stealth games is the dynamic of a stealth game is you're really weak when exposed and really powerful when hidden. That's the whole idea of the dynamic. They spawn from submarine simulators, right? Thief was inspired by... Um, Games like, what's that? Silent Death and things like that. Um, so the cool thing about Requiem is that they have boss fights, but they're to emphasize how weak you are instead. It's a really interesting idea. Other stealth games, you know, Metal Gear Solid or, or even Deus Ex Human Revolution, which isn't really technically a stealth game, but it has boss fights, unfortunately. The boss fights in those are just... Even when they're good, they're just trying to find a way to hide from bad guys and then jump out and attack them and blah, 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 blah. In a Plague Tale Requiem, it's like you're losing slowly. The whole point is to show that Amicia is weak and that you're being pursued by forces that you are just... that are so much beyond you. I like that. I like that. It's a unique approach, um, especially because I don't like... Again, I, I have to reiterate, I don't like boss fights in stealth games. Jeez. Okay, don't I have... Hold on, let me see if I... What is the... Eh, 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 control binds. I picked up like a... Mines. Uh, 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 uh. Don't you have like med kits? That you pick up. I thought I picked some up. Razor, your shields are low. Pull up. The new guy. Uh, thank you again for that twenty. Rem dog. All right, there we go. Thank you for the twenty. Watched Richard Corbin's Neverwhere. The prelude to his Den comic. Mm -hmm. It was impressive. Richard Corbin was a genius. It's unbelievable. Go look at the... Uh, hey, the, the cover that is evidence that April O'Neil always had the jumpsuit and the red hair from the very beginning in the comics uh, is a Richard Corbin cover from Ninja Turtles number two or three. I forget which issue. He's He's a great artist. One of the mainstays of early heavy metal magazine. Okay, what's the infrared button? 
Uh, gas mask, headlamp. Goggles is X, I think. Cleats? Cleats? Oh! You can toggle render mode? Oh, they- you can! What? Love it! Oh. Just like with Tomb Raider. This. Oh. This game so deserved this treatment. I really need some. Some shields. There was some back there, I think. I'll go backtrack a little bit and. Stregoy, thank you for that, Ted. Yep. Number one schmuck. New Switch 2 leaks? I could see that happening. With, and, and hilariously, it'll probably do good. Uh, I'm interested to see what they call it. Puts it around the stream deck with a better battery or close to Series S when docked using DLSS upscaling. Uh huh. Delayed to run Mary through. Uh, delayed to run through remaining Switch stock. Thoughts? I can see them making an announcement this year, definitely. I definitely could. I think they're closer to making a new system. It would be cool to see Switch games be backwards compatible on the Switch 2. That is exactly what I was going to say. Have your Switch games that you have now run on the new one. They are so... It's funny. Nintendo Switch is graphically behind the curve, obviously. It was never intended to be a powerhouse graphically. But technologically, ahead of the curve in some ways. In that, they are wise in that they're using little cartridges, basically. Little compressed cartridges for, to store their games instead of optical discs like retards, like Sony and Microsoft are. You can store so much information on a thumb drive now. How are we not? We're literally back. We should be back to cartridge gaming, essentially. And Nintendo are the only ones who get this. Sony and Microsoft are totally out to lunch on it. They just, they've decided they're going to do the download, the downloadable, oh, you'll store them on your hard drive and you won't technically own them. They're basically copying Steam. But Nintendo get that if you want to have physical games, you need to go back to kind of a more of a cartridge format. Um, really a glorified thumb drive. And of course, the ability to dock and all of those things. I mean, Steam Deck took a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I definitely think that they have a chance to push that forward. I argue if there's no Switch, there's no Steam Deck. Probably not. I can save every Ooh. console maker money right now. Stop including gyro. No one uses it. <laughs> no one's going to move their fucking handheld around to steer something in a game. Yeah, it's retarded. When analog sticks just do it better. And it's weird how... What did that start with? The six-axis on the PS3? Yes. And yes, no one did. used that garbage. No one. No one. Guess what game was first to use it? Uh... You layer. Yes. <laughs> the infamous layer. Move the controller around to steer the dragon. Wow, yep. this plays like shit. And guess what? It still does. Oh, not only that, dude, you know the whole backstory behind that game? Sony basically took this first party studio. I forget what they were called. Um, they had changed their name a few times, but it was actually... It was actually kind of a legendary studio. And they were like, hey, we got this totally crap feature called Six Axis. Build an entire game about it. And they're like, uh, are you sure? That doesn't sound like it'll be very good. No, no, no. And they basically pressed a gun to their head. Now you're a first party studio. Go do it. Layer comes out. It's a complete 
turd. Why? Largely because the six axis controls are a complete turd. They're terrible and always were. And so in the aftermath, what does Sony do? Do they take accountability? Hey, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should get rid of the six axis garbage. Nope, they closed the studio. <laughs> Uh. Gyro for aim assist is great. Uh. People are actually defending Gyro like it's useful in what? Yeah, I like them with lamb and chicken and. It's that Gyro. It's Gyro. <laughs> Homage. What's the, diff What's like the difference between Gyro and Gyro? Ah. I, th I think Gyros are the ones that hang from the top of the cave. Yeah! That's a good clean joke. I like but, that. But <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a glass of champagne? All right, here we go. Thermal detonator, go! Got him. <laughs> Mediterranean tacos. <laughs> You're not wrong, but they're delicious. Why does my shield beep at me like when my phone's dying? Durist Actually, you know what? It sounds like a weather alert on television. Doris the walrus, your childhood sounds familiar. Did your parents freak out when you blossom? from their good boy into the beautiful metal edge lord that you are today. Nope. Not at all. I cuz I cuz I didn't rebel. I never did. I still went to church. I was in Christian bands. I didn't. Like I just dressed different and listened to different music. That was it. I grew my hair out at 32 and my folks disowned me. What? <laughs> Jesus. What year was this? 1912? What 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 in the Samantha Flynn, Razor, my husband, is a VA, and I'm a big fan of yours. We're doing a con in Phoenix this month. Would love to offer you a con pass and meet you. What's this at, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, too many games? I'm not familiar what what. Am coming. I stuck? Oh, there we go. I'm not familiar with what, like, Oh, Too many games expo. I I uh, was invited there, God, years ago, 2016, 17 or something, with uh, I think Alpha Mega Sin when? Uh, game on expo. Game says. on expo. That's what it was. Ah! Okay, gotta start using. <laughs> gotta start using coke. No. What? Huh? Oh, what, my is, husband oh what is this? It's a code? My husband thinks you're funny, too. Funny? Like, funny how? Yeah, right? Like, clown funny? Do I amuse you? Do I amuse you? Nord. Huh. Picture a cheap shop owner. Uh, credits are all he cares about. He has a a large proboscis and a dumb little hat. You want to knock off his head. His name is Watto. 333. Three, three. Thank you for the first time. Super chat. Okay, that didn't help. Uh, is there something I need to get here? Clearly, I need to find the code for this, but where is the code? That's not a, that, okay, that's not a door. To get in here, I need a code. And I may have come across it and just wasn't paying attention. That's what I worry about. I could just be in like a random room. Yeah. Well, there's still some areas of the map here I haven't been to. So a couple let's... of people said, uh, check your inventory. Key card has the code on it. Check your PDA to see if you have it. Aha! Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Do 
Fast Tony, how is it that people can say Slippery Slope isn't a fallacy, but will parrot Rome wasn't built overnight? There he is, stop him. How do we break it that the slope exists? You I mean, dude, if you can't... Uh, part of the reason that there was any pushback at all to some of the more extreme measures of the ideological left in recent years is because they stopped... The only way the slippery slope... And, and let's be clear, the name is incrementalism. It's a propaganda tactic. You slowly turn up the temperature. It's that old boiling frog analogy. Who knew the frog would be gay? So you slowly turn up the temperature, but what happened was they cranked up the heat too fast. And everyone caught on. And everyone was like, whoa, 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 what's this? We didn't sign on for this. We didn't sign on for Tranny Story Hour in kindergarten. We didn't, we didn't sign on for our children to literally be the property of the state and be subjected to gay porn in their public school libraries. That's not something we signed on for. You know, it was just too much too fast. Too much too fast. It, it they started pushing the gay rights issue in about the uh, late 80s, mid to late 80s. It wasn't until 2013, right, when gay marriage was legalized by the Supreme Court, in complete contravention of the Constitution, by the way. The state should have nothing to do with marriage, legal or illegal. But be that as it may, dude, count those years. That took a long time. That took a long, that was a long time slowly boiling that frog. They lost their patience. They got so much institutional power that they thought they were bulletproof. They thought they could get away with pushing every item of their loony agenda all at once. Huh. Interesting. There's they like, tend to wait. There's like a... Hold on, it's not this one. With Romney and McConnell set to step down, what does the future hold in the Senate? Huh. Will Republicans ever regain a proper majority? It depends on what happens in the battle to replace them. My guess would be that Romney wouldn't be stepping down if he didn't think he could replace himself with a monoparty stooge. And the, the same is likely true of Mitch McConnell. And my belief in that, I know a lot of people are celebrating Mr. Turtle leaving the Senate, but the truth is, we've seen this movie before. John McCain refused to resign even on his deathbed. He had a form of cancer that had a rate of survival under 10% or under 15%, right? He was, he should have resigned, right? The reason, the reason he didn't design is he wanted a battle of succession and he wanted a monoparty candidate in there. He was happy to have Mark Kelly take a spot. He did not want Martha McSally to take a spot because she had she had embraced Trump. Uh, Jeff Flake, same thing. Jeff Flake resigned shortly before that. He he resigned when he did, about two years ahead of his election, for the exact same reason. What in the world? Okay. Oh, it's got multiple settings. Okay, I see. So, I would just caution people. Yeah, it's great Mitch McConnell's gone. It's great Mitt Romney's gonna be gone. But you need to pay real close attention to who the GOP are gonna try and get to fill their seat. Because they do not want a Trump person in there. The GOP are going to go kicking and screaming. Because that's what they always do. I wonder what that did.
Hmm. Let's see. Richard Slammer. I don't know if you've heard about X's backward slide reinstating misgendering policy. Just got here from Tim Pool's show, and he said, live on air, he is canceling his business accounts and ads with X. What's going on with X? They reinstated their misgendering policies. Well, look at the person that Elon hired to handle those kind of policies. That loony broad. Yeah, I've been telling you guys, Elon Musk... This guy believes in carbon credits to save the environment. He, he is not the droid you're looking for, necessarily. He's better than the alternative in some ways. Brandon, uh, Brandon quickly making brisket burgers this weekend. Very nice. What should I do for sides? Ooh, okay, brisket burgers. I mean, are you are you going carnivore, bro? If you are, you know, maybe make some kind of carnivorous with something with eggs or something like that, or. If you are okay with some carbs, but you know what sounds good with that is some scallop potatoes. Taters. Myself, I am not full carnivore, but I, uh, I do limit my carb intake a little bit. Okay, that that should have gotten the job done. Yeah, got this, got this. There's three doors and I hit three switches, so that should be it. I just wonder what that did. This was not here before. Ah. I see. Thomas Grubb, thank you for the first time. Super Chat and the 20. A book about Electric Wizard that released last year had a chapter about how doom metal is inherently Christian. Any thoughts on the heaviest band in the universe? Or the doom metal Christianity link? I, I agree. I mean, black metal, or uh, uh, black Sabbath, rather. Dude, not all of their lyrics, but a lot of them <laughs> are, geez, like super, super, super Christian. I don't think it's innately Christian, because there are definitely some non Christian uh, doom metal bands. I don't deserve this. Deserves got nothing to do with it. Particularly the ones that are super into drugs and stuff. But dude, go uh, go read the lyrics to Black Sabbath's babies with a goblin. to Black Sabbath's After Forever. Right, that's one of their earlier songs. And read the lyrics to that and tell me like Petra couldn't have written that song, right? Like, put it this way: Striper covered that song on one of their recent albums. Some important clues. That's all we need. Let's get out of here. I'm getting nervous. Um, w what's going on? Why am I dying? I thought I needed to jump down. Okay. Uh, ret okay. Just return to the landing area. Gotcha! All right. Now, I cannot remember exactly where the landing area was, but... 
I will muddle through until. Well, I guess I haven't reached mine yet. I will muddle through until I find it. Tolkien fan. My town was one of the worst hit by the wildfires in the Texas Panhandle. The flames got within a half a mile of my house before the wind changed. According to the national media, it was climate change. Oh my god. Brandon Whitley again. Potatoes do go hard. Maybe asparagus too? Oh man. You made some good asparagus. I, I am a f asparagus fiend. I love asparagus. Asparagus and broccoli, peas, green beans. Those are like my absolute favorites. And they are staples. If I have veggies with a meal, those are usually high on the list. Did I ever tell you that? That's I had it. never had asparagus before. Dude, it's so good. Until you gave me those. Yeah. When you were barbecuing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We grilled the asparagus. That's right. It was so good. So good. Oh, and artichokes. Artichokes are harder to prepare, but they're so delicious if you make them right. Uh, so good. Also, just chatting again to hear Taryn heavily pronounce the H in Whitley. 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 El Presidente. All right. Is there a correct answer to the brisket side question? Oh, no. He says there is. A correct answer to the brisket spot. What's that? Ambrosia salad. And that is slaw. Slaw. <laughs> slaw is any mix of anything, though. If you ever watch the Food Network, you know this. They'll just throw a bunch of crap together and be like, uh, it's a slaw. Don't worry about it. Big Mike, for my NRA banquet, I'm asking everyone I talk to to vote for Dean Kane to replace Wayne LaPierre. Keep nice. your rifle by your side and Godspeed. Godspeed. Yeah, pretty good idea. That's the thing. People get real mad at the NRA. I get really mad at the NRA. But then they don't go to the meetings and they don't... They don't realize, like, it's a democratic organization. They take votes on this stuff. The terrible policies that the NRA have been imposing are largely because anti-gun people are getting to these meetings and actually voting on some of this stuff. You gotta actually participate. You can't just be butt mad and abandon the organization if you actually want them to stop being crap. Samantha Flynn again. You're very funny, smart, and I love the Metal Mythos series. My husband is Quentin Flint. If you attend Game On, I hope you'll come by and come by our table. Sweet. Okay, I gotta find this. TV's Hank. Oh, Speaking of landing drugs, area. any thoughts on Hawkwind? <laughs> uh, actually, a good band. A good band. Drugs or no? Lots of drugs or no? Hawkwind took all the drugs. Oh, I see you there. I see you there. Matthew Harter. Huh. Razor, what about roasted Brussels sprouts topped with a good balsamic vinegar? I have, I, I have to admit, I have not had enough Brussels sprouts. They seem like they would be good if they were prepared correctly, but I just never didn't grow up having a lot of them. The one that I hated growing up was spinach. And then I got older, kind of learned how to prepare it in different ways, and now I like it. Though you do have to watch out for some of that stuff. Some of it has some stuff that's not the best for you. If you're having it with every meal, it's not necessarily a recipe for health. What in the... Okay, whatever. 
Arlock, did you hear the new theory about Putin causing mass migration to des destabilize Europe? Oh, I yes! Guess, I guess he's forcing them to give them free housing. Oh, too. yes, of course! He's uh, running the governments of Germany and France, and yeah, absolutely. It's Putin that's trying to replace France and Germany's tax bracket with illegal aliens to defray the cost of Germans and French who are not having kids. Totally. I wish I were a baby bumblebee. That's why I recognize the name. What? Samantha's Flynn. Quentin Flynn. Okay. Raiden. <laughs> oh, okay. Metal Gear. That Quentin Flynn. Did your voice just crack? You were that excited? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack! Why do you always get up from the bed after we've made love, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my keys in the deep fryer again. My boss is going to kill me. All right. It was around here. The landing zone is around here, so I'm going to... Time to wander aimlessly. When I played that with my friend, when that came out, just that line alone <laughs> had us rolling. <laughs> like, we did not expect... It, it's such a stupid, innocuous line. It's retarded. And, and she just... It, it, we couldn't stop laughing for like three solid minutes. Not Alfarious, okay, have you no. ever made chorizo burgers? Uh, not chorizo burg. Oh, yes, yes, actually. I've had them, but I haven't made them. Yeah, I've had them, too. I almost. I am not a chorizo fan, generally. <laughs> almost exclusively make my own with some chorizo mixed into the ground beef now. It adds so much flavor. Okay. Richard Slammer. Wait a second. Quentin Flynn, as in Raiden. Yes, yes. Raiden, Raiden. It's around here somewhere. I mean, it's really, it's literally right around here. Right next to where I am, and I just can't figure out. It'd be nice if they marked it. Like, had a little indicator. Hey, landing zone, or... Some some. I think I um, remember Whataburger having chorizo burger for a while. Man, that shit's bad for you. Oh, I mean, chorizo's terrible to for you. To have it like all the time, I can't even imagine. Uh, I can. Mexico's number one in the world in obesity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey! Really? This is the landing area? Oh my god. Rider of the Metal Horse. Let's do some uh, stream. Blast. Ooh! I shouldn't leave the body lying around. Uh, Rider of the Metal Horse. Remember last week I was getting the TMNT game? I just got it yesterday because my local USPS played Hot Potato with Without my game. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and <laughs> suck some. Dirt. There you are. <laughs> with Congratulations. Break, one hour away for the last week. I hate that shit. I had that shit happen to a, uh, oh. was it a t-shirt or something I ordered? Like, it was in, it went between Phoenix and, like, Tempe or something. And they just kept sending it back and forth. And I'm looking at the, the fucking tracking thing going, what are they doing? Uh-huh. Took like an extra... Well, week. you remember, uh, I ordered food or something and the guy hit like the freeway and I, to this day i'm i'm convinced he got hit by a car or something he just paused there and for like an hour and a half didn't move he was at the same intersection and i'm just like and he was on a bicycle i'm like oh god i'm like no 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 i'm pretty sure the guy got hit <laughs> we'll and he never canceled the order because you know 
death. El Presidente. People need to practice the phrase, my rights are not up for discussion, much less a vote. There is no discussion to be had. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hello! Uh-oh. Can't throw that far. Let's try that again. Richard Slammer. Chorizo, isn't that the alien race that adopted Samus? There we go. No, it's uh, the name of Tom Cruise's kid. Yeah. There we go. Rider of the Middle Horse again. Wow, it's a lot of stormtroopers. Razor, when you review a piece of media, be it a game, movie, or music album, what are the aspects that you focus on when deciding on giving it a good or bad review? I've, I've talked about this a number of times. My main criteria, there's more criteria than this, but my main criteria is, okay, what is this game trying to be? What's the thing that it's trying to be? You also have to ask, of course, if the thing that it's trying to be is entertaining. But what's the game trying to be? So if it's trying to be an interactive movie, okay. Then you have to ask the question, is it actually attaining that? Is it good at that? Is it doing that thing and doing it well? Because if it's doing that thing and doing it well, then I, even if I'm not a big fan of it, like that's why I gave Bloodborne a good review, even though I don't really care for Souls games, because it was trying to be a Souls game, and it's a good Souls game, right? It it is. It's not for me, but that doesn't mean it's bad. So that's my main criteria. Of course, I do all the standard. Here's what the graphics look like. Here's what the game plays like. You know, whether or not the level design is good. All that standard stuff. But when it comes right down to it... If a game attains what it strives for, there's a good chance it's a good game. At least within the context of what it is. Alright, there we go. There we go. I can Alice. Uh Hail Razor and Terran. Melania, my husband loves America. Iraq. My husband hates America. <laughs> Jill, my husband can't remember America. Yeah, no kidding. I also like how they're sincerely trying to push the idea that he knows who Taylor Swift is. Like, seriously? Does anybody under the illusion that Biden has any clue who Taylor Swift is at all? Biden remembers when classical music was just music. Yeah. He doesn't know who Taylor Swift is. He doesn't know what year it is. Biden burst out onto the scene the same time the Beatles did. Not the band, the life form. Yeah, the species. <laughs> they were called the Scarabs at the time, actually. Uh, Alright. Okay, elevator over here. I think that's probably my ingress. Zerica, thank you for the ah. raid. Welcome. Godspeed, and thanks for joining us. You're welcome. You halt! Wow. 
past them. Uh, Let's do the old rendering mode. Look at this! Look at this! I'm gonna play in this mode just for a little bit. Dude! Uh, and Brian, thank you. What for is this? I just picked. Oh, it's the plasma cannon. Okay, I gotta see this in the new graphics. Woo! Yeah! Boring conversation, anyway. Brother Cormac. Oh yes, we have alternate fire, by the way. Razor, have you seen the recent trailer for Greedfall 2 Dying World? And if so, what are your thoughts? I I, I was not aware there was a new trailer. No, I did see it. It didn't tell us much. It didn't tell it looks like the same setting and the same approach, but it didn't tell us a whole lot. Fifteen hours ago. Oh, sorry, one day ago. Oh, I didn't see that trailer. If there's a newer one, I just saw the initial announcement thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From no, a while back. Yesterday. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is new. I need to watch this then. Yeah. All right. Oh, pretty. All right. Looks like it's just a cinematic, though. Oh. Woo! Freaking drill! Is that gonna take you down somewhere? Oh, it is! Yep, sadly, it's just a cinematic, but it looks cool. Thomas Grubb. Thank you for that 20 earlier. Uh, he says about Electric Wizard, the band sleep is. Weed infused ultra Christian doom, and they're fantastic. Why do some drugs in Christianity have to be incompatible? Uh, because the Bible explicitly forbids drunkenness. Oh, have you made the joke yet about the big frickin' drill? Yes, I did. Okay, just make sure. Way to pay bases. attention, Terry. You gotta cover your bases. I just make sure. All right, leave it, Jesus. All right there we go. Well, you're gonna meet him. There we go. What the? Oh no, dude! My kingdom for a save function. Okay, there we go. Dark Forces 2, by the way, does have a save function. Whoa! Huh. What is that? Road Santa, Richmond, Razor, when can we expect the next film in archives? I'm working on it. I'm working on a couple, actually. I've been in a very film noir mood of late. Just been working on a, a lot on Ghost of the Badlands, 
got the second the second volume written also working on possibly getting an animated trailer for you guys Ooh. Yeah, from... fancy schmancy we'll see we'll see if that'll happen I talked to the guy today and it seemed like it would be doable Shut up! The Grizzly. Did you guys see the Trump and Biden border visits? Absolute night and day with- Oh my goodness, what an optics disaster. Joe in my prime, Biden literally asking where he was and the Mexican National Guard chanting Trump's name. <laughs> it's funny because Trump should be the guy Mexico hates, but dude, he's actually low-key popular there? There are people in Mexico who want better border security. I don't know if they put two and two together on how our open borders seem to directly lead to the compounding of their cartel violence, <laughs> but uh, if I was living in Mexico, I probably would have noticed by now. Hello. Of course, Rares. if I want to live in Mexico, I just go to South Phoenix. Uh, Hello, Rares. I, I hope that's how you pronounce that. World. No! Oh, man. First person platforming gets you every time. Okay, where's that blue door? Okay, I know where I am. Med kit? A Jedi, thank you for that 30 and first time super chat. Hey Razor, first time dono. Your vid on Michael Jackson was highly enlightening. Ever thought to do one on Captain William Turner of the Lusitania fame? Uh, I mean, yeah, he was kind of blamed for a lot of stuff that he really didn't have anything to do with. A lot the of people, a lot of people don't realize that was one of the unique things about the Lusitania disaster. Um, whereas Captain Smith died in the sinking of the Titanic, went down with the ship. Captain Turner survived the sinking of the Lusitania. And, uh, it, he, he tried to go down with the ship, but he was swept away by a, by a wave and, uh, swept off of the deck and God dang it. Making that jump. So he actually managed to, uh, to survive. And so they basically, the British Admiralty kind of made an example of him and blamed him for a lot of things that he really had nothing to do with him. Uh, wrong way. The man deserves better than to be a Royal Navy scapegoat. Yeah, definitely. My slamwich, Emperor Palpatine, why did the Empire invade Hoth? Well, you see, it all started 2,000 years ago <laughs> with the founding of the Republic and the Mandalorian Wars. Oh my God. Okay, maybe I'll try not running. There we go. That was the way to go. I thought you would have to run to make that jump, but apparently not. All right, we got it. We got it. Eat plasma. Whoa! Whoo! Eat floor, high fiber. The downstream. What was the most recent Western you watched? 
mine was Seraphim Falls and Valdez is coming. Most recent. Uh, Dark Valley was a little more recent. That was like 2015 or 16. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. There were a number. The Salvation. That was just a few years ago. I forget what year that was. 14, 2014, 15. Um, with Mads Mikkelsen and Ava Green. A very good movie. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think. What's the most recent one that you watched, man? Ooh. I have True I, Grit remake? I no 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 no. Uh most recent western I watched was probably one with you. God, what was that one we watched together? Oh. It was after the Sartana films. Or maybe I think I also went on a Western binge. I think it was one of the John Wayne ones because I had. Oh no 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 no! You said most recent Western. Oh oh. A new Western. A new one. Okay. Oh maybe maybe you're right. Maybe he just means the most recent westerns that we have watched. And if you're asking that question, uh, One Eyed Jacks with Marlon Brando. Freaking, yeah, that's how I took it. Like, what's the yeah, last I just watched that, and I which was very good, and uh, Black Spurs. That was really good too. Because at the end of his chat here, he says, uh, the "I need to stop running before I jump here." The latter was better. Also, fuck Jane Fonda. Yeah. So if Jane Fonda's involved, he means just the last Western you watch. Yeah. No. Um, Jane Fonda's such a commie cow. I would say one of the John one, Wayne ones that I watched recently. Because I hadn't actually watched any. You ever watched Big Jake? Big Jake, yeah. That Great movie good. with Paladin as the villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Jake's the one where he comes home and he has all of his brothers, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be the last That's the one with his son. Patrick Wayne, I think his name. Still with us, thankfully. All right. Let's try this. Too much platforming in this particular level. All right, there we go. Harlock, thoughts on the movie No Country for Old Men? Uh, never really watched it. I've heard it's good. I've heard it described as noir, but there are few things that movie and television critics don't label noir now. So, hey, Mr. Robot is noir. Uh. All right. Sapient Pearwood, what did you think of Bone Tomahawk? I thought it was three quarters of a good movie. I thought it kind of sucked at the end. I've said before. When it turns into kind of a gore movie, and it, I don't know, that, that part kind of lost me, honestly. It just didn't... It didn't work because it didn't commit. It was like... Oh, they're supposed to be Native Americans, but we're afraid to call them the Anasazi. Because that's what that's based on. The Anasazi were cannibals. They lived out in the hills, and then they disappeared, by the way. And the rumor is that they ate each other or wiped each other out, or they were wiped out by the Navajo. Nobody really knows. By the way, that's in more or less the same area that my graphic novel takes place. So I thought that was kind of limp-dicked, you know? It was like, oh, we'll just make them, like, giants, and they'll be painted white so we can't tell that they're Native American. And it, I just thought that was lame. Good cast. It was cool, like, for three quarters of the movie. And it just kind of fell apart.
Where'd that robot go? Ah! There's a robot. Okay. Uh, Emerald Joker, thank you for the time. All right, where are we going now? Got, got that dark trooper. Oh, med kits. Exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, now. Conservative atheist. Been watching you for a long time and know you enjoy Lotus 4. Been doing 3D printing and would be happy to send you a deedlet figure if you wanted it. Oh man, that'd be awesome! Well, DM although you. although my favorite character from that is Gim. We'll DM you on Facebook. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think you have to hold this down. Boomer Viking. I am a libertarian today in part because I watched Firefly when I was young. It planted the idea of being self-sufficient and living free. Ignore culture if you want to lose. What in the world? That's cheap. How do people get out of this place? <laughs> Imagine having, having to go through this sequence every time you want to leave this facility. I'll be home soon, honey, but at first I have to hold down a switch for 45 uninterrupted minutes. All right, here we go. Oh, got it, final. And now the genocide. Hardcore bunny. Heyo, Razor and Terry. I got an Xbox SX today for Dragon's Dogma 2 physical release. Oh, sweet. I am done for, with PC for now. When disc releases on Xbox are cheaper on PC, why bother with PC? Not a bad point. Speaking of which, I just got the physical release. The physical steelbook release of Flashback 2 on Series X, which is awesome. It's a good game so far. A little cyberpunk kind of RPG platformer. And buddy, you know you're not done with PC. Not when Desolation's Wake is in five days. It is nice. The new hunt event looks like they're kind of returning. You know, on our previous hunt streams, I've been kind of complaining about how the game's been getting very, uh, like, uh, too much spooky, not enough cowboy. This looks way more cowboy. It feels like non-edgy hunt showdown. Proper, like, Victorian cowboy shoot em up. It is Chef's Kiss. Uh huh. Okay, whatever. Ah! I was trying to shoot you in the back. How dare you move? Right, there we go. Where am I being? Aha! Rhea. Hail Razor, I love your work. I can't wait for Ghost of the Badlands. Nor can I wait.
for you guys to read it. I think you're gonna enjoy it. What is your favorite story from the Star Wars Expanded Universe? Oh man, there's a lot. Rogue Squadron, the Rogue Squadron books are freaking great. Um, I love uh, the X-Wing series, especially X-Wing Alliance. I love Shadows of the Empire, I do, even though little fan ficky elements here and there, but overall I really like uh, Shadows of the Empire. Should have been a movie. Heir to the Empire, Dark Empire. Uh, one of my favorite Expanded Universe books is Darth Maul Shadowhunter. There we go. Taryn, do you have a favorite Expanded Universe? Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. This contemptible excuse for an officer will no longer divulge any more information to that rebel, Kyle Katarn. Katarn will not be as easy to deal with. He is very resourceful. More resourceful, it seems, than even your dark troopers. I understand the threat, Lord Vader. Katarn was once an impressive... That's not a bad Vader impression, by the way. It's really good, yeah. ...the struggle for our new order. I wouldn't put much faith in his abilities. Katarn will never come near this ship. My new hire will see to that. Oh no. Well! Then again, like how many times has Boba Fett been taken out like a bitch, let's be honest? The guy was defeated by a hole in the ground. He was knocked into the hole in the ground by a blind guy. I'm just throwing that out. <laughs> Maybe time to pull it back on the uh, Boba Fett hype. Okay, yeah, so we're breaking into a prison. The Imperial Defension Detention Facility is well secured. Hard to get in, even harder to stay alive. There's a switch-controlled shuttle carrier to the facility that will bring you to the main doors. Inside the complex, two main elevators access lower prison blocks. One goes to the low security levels and down to the command center. The other leads back up to the high security blocks where Crix Maydeen is being held in the pie block. I don't know. Each cell is locked with its own code card carried by an Imperial officer. So first you'll need to find the right card to Maydeen's cell. Since the high security blocks are controlled from inside the block, once the guards are alerted, it will be impossible to penetrate. I suggest you find an optional entrance into the high security block. You'll... Really be outnumbered here, so rely on stealth rather than firepower. Uh, fat chance. Oh, sorry, you asked me a question. Um... Favorite expanded universe thing. Yeah, 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 um... KOTOR? The graphic novel, um, the comic of... Oh, Legacy! Luke Skywalker's son, yeah. but he's a smuggler and he's addicted to... Star Wars Legacy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have all those graphic novels. That that was really good. Did I ever let you borrow all those? No, 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 no. How far did you get into that? I, like, read the first few. There's, like, like 15 of them. That, that went on for a while. Yeah, it was really good. It was a, it was a good series. I'll have to uh, finish it up. Mercenary X. As someone with autism, and it's pretty bad, I had to get off the medication because somebody at the pharmacy screwed up so royal. Uh, he didn't finish the thought. Uh, video games are my only way to cope in social in SoCal. For people like me who can't hold down a job more than a minimum wage. Uh, I don't have the luxury as everyone else does. I may have been diagnosed with Asperger's. But LA education screwed me up. Well, you're in the exclusive club of millions of people on that one. Yep. Irritable sloth. Regarding inflation... Do you use uh, 
do you use any of those cash to gold services as a financial safety net? No, I, you know, if if things got bad enough, we would revert more so to barter. I don't so much see... I, I do think gold will have an intrinsic value, don't get me wrong, but I think the idea that we would revert to gold is unlikely. I think we'd be more likely to be bartering. We'd, yeah. It's yeah. more important to have things of value. And in that sense, I'm already covered, right? I have a lot of things that hold their value and would hold their value in a survival, you know, Tiatwaki kind of situation. Yeah, um, I think you know, it... lots of firearms, ammunition, stuff like that. Um, I've, I've got things that I could trade. All right. Here I think uh, gold is more like not if civilization collapses, but rather if like our economy shits to bed just a little and yeah. you need like that little bit of support that's that that's what it's good for if society ends gold ain't gonna do shit for you apparently you missed the switch probably it, it's funny sometimes the switches don't look like switches in this game so you gotta be careful yep there we go wonder what that did Aha! The gym. Hey, it delivers! How convenient! Look, the blast doors have been malfunctioning for a week for a while, but Imperial IT won't fix it because no one put in a ticket. <laughs> Big government, am I right? Oh right. Oh. Oh. There we go. Mark, canned food and tools will have value just like gold. Well, even canned food expires. Yeah, canned food is... Canned food's a temporary fix. Those food supply things where you get supposedly six months of a food source or whatever. Yeah. Those are... I, I mean, those are valuable in, this, in a sense, but they're going to be temporarily valuable. Because you're going to want to use those until you can find something more permanent. Like yeah. a homestead that someone's living on and maybe you can make an arrangement. Hey, I'll... I'll work on your homestead, and, you know, I'll have room and board and all that stuff. Alright, alright. There we go. Oh, he asks, how much money would you recommend converting? To what? Gold? Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving financial advice on a stream. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh... That's not wise. Never wise. Not that I'm bad with money or anything. I'm just, you know... I'm not an investment guru. The people who say shit like invest in Ethereum or some shit. Right. I, and I don't know, and I've admitted to my ignorance on the subject of Bitcoin, digital currency, stuff like that, you know. I'm never going to give advice on that because I don't, I don't understand it, and I haven't researched it. And I'm not that interested in it to research it. I know the basics of what it is in concept. Oh, they oh stole I my see. They apes, Odo. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, Swagnarok, if the WB Paramount merger goes through, what assets do you see getting purged? My money is on either CBS or Nick or more of CNN. Not hmm. sure about Star Trek. Star Trek stays because they can milk it and it has a built-in audience. Yeah. Trying to think. Paramount Warner. Well, I mean, I don't want to say it because I'm a fan. I don't think it should be a franchise, though. What good is Blade Runner to Warner Brothers? What good is... They own it. 
what is, what good is it? They haven't made any money off of it. They've like they make money off of uh, re-releasing the original film, but the sequel bombed. It bombed all around, not just in theaters, but it ate turds on social media and in or, or on uh, streaming. I mean, and and in uh, Blu-ray and everything. You know, it hasn't done well for them. They've done comic book spinoffs, and nobody's buying them. They did, you know, it just. I could see that possibly being sold to someone. Uh. Uh, Mercenary X again. Hmm. Sorry, but the extended universe is canon and always will be. And Disney does not own the rights to that. <clears throat> Mark my words. When all is said and done, Disney will go bankrupt and lose it all. All right, so we got this. I need the red key. This is so doom. Our mod, Camino Uni, says, I made a lot of progress with my Elric character in Monster Hunter. A sweet. Hope to show the results sometime at trying to get mods for more accurate Stormbringer and Chaos Shield. Right on. The Metal Eagle, what had the worst changes? Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh well, man, that's Star tough. Trek invented a completely new universe. It's so. not even Star Trek. Yeah. Star Wars is bad. Disney Star Wars is bad Star Wars. Star Modern Whoa! Hold on. I just got ambushed. Modern Star Trek isn't even Star Trek. It's not even bad Star Trek. It's just not Star Trek. So, so maybe Star Trek on balance is worse. Oh, that's a mine. Oh man, I'm almost dead. Jeez, I didn't realize what that was. Okay, so we got this. Jeez, and I don't know what order they would be in. Aha, I thought so. Exactly. 40 oh no! <laughs> that was unfair. <laughs> Just surprises me with a turret. I'm dead. Oh, wow. Whoa. Exactly 40 dead batteries. Have you ever read Neuromancer? Uh, yeah, years ago. And what are your thoughts? I didn't think it was any great shakes. It's... The way I remember it anyway, and I could be wrong... I could go back and read it, and maybe I would find that I enjoyed it more, but... The way I read it, it was kind of like, uh... In the same way that I thought Bone Tomahawk was like three quarters of a good movie, it was like one quarter of a good book. The beginning was pretty good, and the rest of it was kind of... And the man did not invent cyberpunk, for crying out loud. I honestly... I think it's a success of marketing. He came he came up, he did come up with the term cyberpunk. He did. But that's it. And I think if he had not come up with that term, I don't think anyone would be reading Neuromancer. I think people like the genre of cyberpunk more than they like Neuromancer. All right. Uh... Kristen Ferber, thank you for the 20. There we go. Found a TT game where you play a family involved with the East India Company. The instructions say that they take the subject matter seriously. Make sure all players consent. And I thought was let them was let the money and the tea roll. Okay. Uh, that does actually sound familiar. 
Like, I've heard something involved with the East India Company. So, huh. a top game. I thought this would be like a code that I keep seeing on the wall, but I don't think it is. Okay. Me, pre Disney canon is best canon. Changed my mind. Absolutely. Why, why would I change your mind? You're right. Yeah, you. Why are you booing me? I'm right. I don't deserve this. Ah, oh, man. To do with it. Boy, Kyle Katarn, not the best throwing arm. Sir Ubisoft, any underrated games who give praise to that uh, that don't get enough attention like the best sellers? Mine would be Billy Hatcher and Star Gladiator and others. You're not authorized. Games that didn't get the attention that big sellers did? Yeah, that's I think that's what he's getting at. Uh EDF never is talked about enough. We were just talking about this. D dude, people are creaming their jeans over hell divers. Yeah. That's basically like, what EDF is and has been for years. EDF's sixth game comes out in a few months. Oh man. Like, what are you guys talking about? Oh shoot, we can't there's a force field there. They've had six primary games, a bunch of spin-offs. Uh -huh. They had some on like the PSP. Like They've been around forever and they're they're all good. They're all good. Eat my slam witch. Hmm. Raise your favorite Paul Harrell quote as Hank Hill. Oh god. My favorite Paul Harrell ism is uh My favorite par Paul Harrell ism is I'm under no illusions that any of my opinions have their root in the mind of genius. <laughs> or have their origin in the mind of genius or something like he says that in like every video. It's just my opinion, and I'm under no illusion that my opinions have their origin in the mind of genius. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! What the? They can shoot through? Raven House Mystery, have you ever listened to Hawkwind? Somebody asked us that last week, didn't they? Just earlier. Yeah. Last week, like an hour yeah, ago. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, of course I've listened to Hawkwind. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I've, I've recommended them before, actually. Hop, 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 hop. Hmm. You're letting me loose? MC Corleone. Yaron Brook criticizes Trump for not being more hawkish towards the Iranian regime. What do you think Trump's policy toward Iran should be? While you answer that, I'm going to hit the bathroom. What do I think his policy towards Iran should be? I mean, that's kind of a broad question. Um, I don't think we should be instigating a war with them, but Iran are not blameless, innocent babies. That must be said. And it's funny that Yaron Brook would say that because probably nobody boofed Iran more visibly than Trump did when he iced that general. <laughs> uh, that was genius. He kind of did, and he did it in such a way that it, like, couldn't result in war with Iran, which was even better. Like, it was crazy. And he got so much criticism for that when it happened, but it was like... With with the benefit of hindsight, it was really well played by Trump. Okay, could that possibly be... There we go.
You know what? Maybe... Okay, let's get over here. That area I was just in... Ah, okay, it's already been blown apart. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. That worked. I'll take it. All right. These MIDI John Williams tracks are straight fire. All right. We can get, uh, is there anything over here? No, there is not. Okay. Got that taken care of. So basically, you got multiple levels on this elevator. This thing here makes me wonder if there's not a second elevator somewhere. Okay, so we're looking for the red key. All right, let's go. I wonder if this being blue, the other one being green is significant. Like maybe there's a blue key on this level. Maybe there's a red key on the other. I wonder. Huh. Oh, you can. Interesting. Go for it. Okay, that's a switch now. Like, it hasn't been a switch up until this point, but now it is, apparently. That's annoying. What? What moved? Aha. What are you? Curiouser and curiouser. That is really, really specific. What I just had to do there, that was kind of BS. Oh, it's just a secret, that's why. Yeah, so we need to find the code... The code card, essentially. And then there's no symbols that... conform to that, so... I mean, that kind of looks like it, but I don't think so. And, and at any rate, there's no symbols that conform to the others, so I just don't think... I, I'm missing data! I'm missing information here. Go. Now. Oh, come on. Whoa, that like bounced off the walls twice. Hmm. I'm gonna read one real quick. Let's see. The mm -hmm. Grand Inquisitor. Razor Ma, you must use the force. Use the force to rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> Wrong game. Oh, As to Brussels sprouts, try to, a recipe that uses balsamic vinegar glaze. And people are saying, check your inventory. Uh, I already did. What the? Ah! Leonard said, check your inventory for codes. Yeah, I already did. I didn't see any. Oh, I did pick up a card. I just didn't see it. 
Thank you. I had already checked it twice and hadn't picked up the card yet, but now I have. Whoa! See, this is when I go to the bathroom. That's shit, shit like this happens. Yep! Whoa! Alright, there we go. This is a neat looking area. Alright. But if I can't see, how do I kill the remote? Huh. No. There's got to be something more here. Well, whatever. I have the code at any rate, so. Let's go! What? What? You what, mate? Uh, there we are. Okay, let's get over to where that code is. And I... Uh, was it on this level? I do not think it was. Uh, it's not on this level either. It's on this level. All right. Let's do it! Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Uh, the X looking thing. X gonna give it to you. And... The international gay symbol. There we are. What? What is this? Give me something to shoot. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Okay, so my question is, apart from that, what did that open? Did this give me another key card? It didn't, so I'm still kind of boned. Was that just a secret? Ah, it's a mortar gun, that's what it is. Okay. But Misa don't have a Puma. Let's see real quick. Um... No, 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 no! over there mercenary yeah it was just a bunch of gear and so, I mean that's fine but uh, that doesn't really help me make progress well listen I'll get to it eventually mercenary X forget going to tar forget going to target go look at world-class bullshitters video when they go to Ollie's and all the other places Death by a thousand cuts. They're wasting resources, and the bill is due. Something about going to Target? What? He's talking about the action figures that are just rotten on the, sh on the shelves and oh, stuff. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, maybe there's a... Hey, Patrick, did you see that one guy tried to set himself on fire? It was well done. <laughs> that is really quiet. What's well, really quiet? The glory to you and your house. You didn't even hear it. Super quiet. I'll have to turn up the audio on that. All right. Ah! Okay, we'll just go level by level and see if we can't do something here. Alright, is there any part of the map 
They'd have been to. Take her level by level. I feel like that needs to come down. That little... Oh, yeah. Is there anything I can shoot? To get me over there? I done see it. If... Uh... Nope, doesn't work. And that doesn't work either. Yep. Let us see. Alt lag. Godspeed, well, chance. How Missy do you do week this? between Fanny, Nikki, Nikki Haley, Air Force Palestine guy, and so many others. Who do you think ended their career with the most impressive fireball this week? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, don't, don't forget the Sony layoffs. Layoffs at Naughty Dog of all studios. That That's not a good sign, folks. How do you... Yeah, that's got to be able to move or something, but I don't know how you would do it. Mercenary X continues. Also, I hope you saw the mech game I sent you on Steam. He got you a mech game? Uh, yeah, I did. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, Where is this? Hope it'll help. Help what? What with the coming insanity, I believe the tarot card reader I listen to over the mainstream news right now. That's interesting. What mech game came out that he got you? Oh, I forget what it was called. It's yeah, it, it was not BattleTech or anything. It was Mech something. But I did I did see it. I haven't been on Steam in a, in a few days. I just saw the notification. Okay. No, it's the force field, lol. It's the force field? Force field is timed. Timed? Hot? Timed, timed, force field is timed. Okay, I didn't notice that. I did not know this. This one responds. This is the one that responds to a switch. Um, wrong level. It's this one. Ah. Yo. Eat it. Oh, I had my headlight on that entire time. Mercenary X continues. As someone who's half German, I can agree with you. And my dad is exactly like that, but it's... But instead of trains, it's work. You're not authorized. That and religiously watching Fox News or reality TV shows like Nat Geo. Let's go. Quarty. What's your favorite portrayal of the devil or demons in comic books or movies? Oh, I've got a favorite. That's easy. In in what? Sorry, I didn't hear. The devil or demons in comic books or movies. What's your favorite portrayal? Uh, I mean, Legend is the obvious one. Yeah. Tim Curry in Legend is the goat. No pun intended. Uh. Ow. 
Is that timed or does that need a... <laughs> he just killed himself. Many such cases. What the? What? 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 What was that for you, Kurt? I don't understand. Okay, that went through, so this is timed. Red key! And it damages me for some reason. A radiation or something? I don't know. Yeah, the gas mask. Uh, I didn't think it was gas. I have Beano. Oh, love your stuff and have a great night. You too, man. Thank you. All right. Now let's go to where we had to use that red key. Mercenary X. According to what I've heard in the background, our banking system already collapsed. A uh, matter of time before the public knows. Well, I mean, if you're taking into consideration, like, banks having a hard time getting money, and it's all digital and just numbers and shit. There's our red key. All right, there we go. What's all this then? Uh, what is this? Get I'd... treatment for your dyslexia? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper. You do reverse things sometimes. Maybe something to look into. You reverse, but. What? Nothing. Super duper. I was curious if you have any gothic like games you can recommend. Games like the game gothic? Perhaps. I mean, I, I remember gothic, yeah. But I think he means just like. That actually, yeah, what does he mean? Does he mean like the game gothic or does he mean like that are gothic? Well, if it's in 2024, it's just basically a fat chick who likes to wear leather jackets sometimes and puts on black nail polish and calls herself goth. That's what a goth is in 2024. I, uh... Uh, as far as games that have that style, I mean, the Legacy of Kane series has always had that for me. Um, I don't know, some of the Castlevanias, you know. Uh, and as far as the game gothic, I never played it. So I don't... People are saying Elix 1 and 2 were like gothic. Huh? Anyway, I never played the games. Well, what is the point of that? What is the point of having this open? Probably so you can slip out, I would think. Is the idea? Mercenary X, speaking of Helldivers, I got the game because the devs are banning political talk, specifically both sides without question. They said shut up and play the game. Like, political talk how? Like, in the Steam comments or something? Certainly they're not <clears throat> listening to the chat. Okay. Well, gosh. Yeah, I don't know if you could... There, it seems like you should be able to get up here. Okay, is there... Yeah, it looks like you get there from another area would you consider but where would you consider bloodborne more gothic or victorian yeah it's victorian steam punky kind of thing uh, 
okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it just takes us back to over here. Is there nowhere else? Need to position the elevator. Somebody says. Aha! Uh -huh. Set the elevators. Oh, you have a quick menu now. That's nice. I didn't realize. Alec, what a time to be an old Star Wars fan. Are you and Terran planning on playing Battlefront Classic Collection coming in March 13th? Wow, that's a lot sooner than I thought. I thought that was going to be like a couple more months from now. What do you say? Would you be interested in that? In what? Uh, the classic Battlefront games. I Whatever. I don't care about them that much. I never really did. They're whatever. It was like a uh, shallower Star Wars skin on top of Battlefield 1942. Yeah. Yes! That's hilarious. <laughs> Line up the elevators, they said. Well, I lined up the elevator shaft. Blow me! I'll do what I want. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. The new guy. That's how you restart, by the way, is hitting the fire button. Okay. Um... Do you know any good shows or books about illusion, escape artistry, or other shadowy type skills? No idea where to start. No, I don't. Not really. I never got into illusionism too much. Uh, Walter Gibson himself wrote some books on illusionism. He was part of the same magician society as Harry Houdini, so he was like he was Houdini's biographer for a minute, and. Uh, so he wrote a lot of books on different magic tricks, and he invented a few magic tricks himself. So, kind of perfect guy to write the shadow. Okay. So, what we need is basically for this elevator to be, like, one level... Okay. It needs to be one level below me, I'm getting? Why does it skip that level? Anyways. Yikes. 101 Elric. Thank you for the 20. Okay. I can survive that drop. I don't know if that's where it needs to be, but I can survive it. Uh, I'll try. Yeah, there we go. Aaron, you're too flammable. Pull hey, up. Hey, Patrick, did you see that one guy tried to set himself on fire? <laughs> it was well done. <laughs> and he got the fucking notification. Right? Uh, Aaron, you're too flammable. Pull up. Everybody's like that. Oh no. What do I do? I'm. I'm screwed. How do I. I can't drop down or I'll die. What the. This is not good. This is not good. I'm stuck. I basically have to drop down and die. I have nowhere else to go. Can you make the jump over to uh... Can I? I don't know if I can. I cannot. Oh, jeez. I survived. Such as it is. Okay, I'm on the other side. Or am I? No, I'm not. God dang it. Hmm. This is freaking weird. Okay, well. That's for that. Oh! Crossfire. 
It was my birthday Tuesday, and my brother came through big time. He got me an SNES cartridge of the first Mega Man X game. Oh, nice. I have one of those. Oh. Break time. Code key four, code key five. Huh. Okay. You gotta use the elevators to make a bridge. To what? And on what level? That's the problem. I don't know what level I was on when that happened. Just roll the dice. Listen to Cicero. Is he dreaming? He's dreaming. He's barking in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cicero. Alright. Yeah, this sucks because I don't know what level. Okay. What am I on right now? The top one? No, I'm on the third. Okay. I'm on the third level now. You gotta use the elevators to make a bridge to jump down on. Where? What level? That's the thing. I don't know what level that was on. And of course, this map doesn't have like spatial awareness in that sense. You only get a 2D plane from a top view. So... Jeez, I need a health kit. Okay, there's all the code key... Yeah, those are all the code keys I should need. Gotta be a switch or something here. No, nothing? Um, also picked up the latest version of the Pokemon franchise, Violet, with my birthday money. Great week and Godspeed. And happy birthday to you, sir. Happy belated birthday. There was a map on the wall in the room that the red key unlocked. Yeah, I know. I noticed that, but that doesn't really help you. I don't think it was in real time. Anywho. Are we on the correct level yet? Mercenary X, it was 900 billion lost by Google Gemini. I doubt it was that much. I'm making an AI? It could be. It could be. It only gets worse because they had to purposely program it to be woke. Double-edged sword for the win. Woke actually bricks AI uprising. Okay, here we go. So, I don't, yeah, I don't think this was real time. This is on... Okay. And it sucks because I don't have an elevator switch on this level because thanks level designers. Um, okay. A bridge across. So maybe around the third from the top level is where I need to go. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. All right. Oh, look who woke up. I'm sorry, Pupper. Did we wake you? He's all groggy. Uh, I'm oh, not, I'm not ninety gonna... billion, not nine hundred billion. I am billion. not going to survive this. Okay, so it was a typo. Ooh, okay. No bridge required, I guess. Good shit. Hey, oh, boy. 
Storm and Norman. This week, O.J. Simpson refused a lie detector test. His reason? It detects lies. <laughs> Mercenary X, this is why if AI gets sentient, it's gonna side with us. Because the wolf mind virus is literally of the devil. I think he means woke. And AI is gonna get very spiritful very fast because of it. Hmm. I think he also means spiteful. Jim Cornette's blood pressure. You're always talking about your love of the brood Gangrel. Were you a fan of Viscera? I was a fan of Viscera. That guy, I mean, he gets dumped on a lot, but he was a huge dude and he could move. Like 500 plus pounds. I was shocked at how athletic that guy was. Yeah, he was like if Yokozuna knew when to say when. He was a- he was a freak. I can't get over on that side. I- I need to, like, run across. Oh, you actually did meet spiritual. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. I need to jump over on the left side here. Oh, look who it is! Shut down all the garbage smashers on the detention level! Shut them all down! Okay, wait for that to come down again. I kind of see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there's like a little elevator over there. I see. Okay, this is going to get a little hairy. Mercenary uh -oh. X. Mobius worked on Tron? Yeah, he was a designer on Tron. Uh, I love the style of the 2.0 game. Legacy, not so much, even though I like the music. They are talking about a Tron sequel. Fucking finally. When was the last one? 2010. Oh man! Timing is a bear! First person platforming, my favorite. Spatial awareness, who needs it? Oh man. Right here. Yeah, you can't just run across, so it's gotta be a jump. can't just climb up on that side. Even though these are roughly the same height, that's what's so weird about it. Ah, dude. I messed that up. Messed that jump up. This isn't a bad question. What's up? Weirdlock asks, which is worse? The new Punisher Marvel release Man. in comics? Or the revamp of DC Comics, the question, as Renee Montoya. That's pretty bad, too. I don't know. Renee Montoya is a classic example of, like, just sticking Steve Ditko's corpse, corpse's nose in it. You know what I mean? He never would have made that character if he knew what it was going to turn into. Ever. Denny O'Neill was the first insult. Renee Montoya is the final one. There we go, finally. Oh, jeez. And this one's going all fast. Jeez, slow down. It's my first time. Okay. <laughs> this is an insanity test. But we'll get there, folks. That 
to see. Big uh, sleep. Big man. at it. In a book that came out about Electric Wizard in 2023, there was a chapter about Doom Metal being inherently Christian. You already read that one. That's weird. Maybe he also made a super chat just to repeat it. Mercenary X. Also, did you see the Clownfish TV video of the Willy Wonka thing that happened in Ireland? Oh, God, yeah. I saw that. Did you happen to see, see the pictures? Of I that? don't. Yeah, I heard about it. I don't care. Fucking hilarious. Okay, we're on the red oh. level now. Tell us, Darren. Oh, stay. hey, look what it is. Okay, so what? Well, we've only got so many codes. I guess we can just try them all. Basically, guys, um, for a Willy Wonka event, they rented out this warehouse and just like it was the cheapest shit. They put up like. They <laughs> put like a vinyl banner of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory on a wall. Yeah, and, like, there was, like, toys and, like, a playground around, like, an inflatable playground or some shit. Oh, and worked. there was, like, one person dressed up at a table smoking. Like, it was sad. Yeah, it reminded me of, like, Krusty Land. Yeah, Krusty Land. We're all out of Bort license plates. Should I? Huh. Uh, Jack the Outcast, it was good to see the president visiting the border. It was inspiring, and even the Mexi Mexican army was cheering. Oh, yeah, and Biden was there, too. Yeah, no kidding. What a total optics kill shot for Trump. He shames Biden into visiting the border, and you can tell he shamed Biden into visiting the border because there was nothing controlled about it. It wasn't one of those classic Biden photo ops where they plan it months in advance and he's on a short leash and he makes super prepared remarks and he's hopped up on whatever crazy anti Alzheimer's drugs they pump into his veins just to make him sound marginally coherent none of that was true he was totally out of it totally incoherent he was stumbling everywhere what is going on with Biden's gait by the way like he he was shuffling around like early on in his tenure, but it has gotten so much worse. There are times it looks like he is just going to fall down. Yeah. And that was one of them. He's it, barely being propped up. It looked like the dude that he was walking with, he was like holding on to practically. All right. How do people get around this prison? <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyone? Guy is way too old for the presidency. He was too old 10 years ago. No kidding. The fucking guy's got a foot in the grave. Okay, where's the other level where I input? It, there's got to be another place to input another code somewhere. Dee Dee, hail Chief Flipping Bird and late to asparagus taste gel. 
chief supervisor at my job gave me some moronic grief for trivial crap. What did your final boss do to make you quit? I... It was, it was a stupid story. It was... We were having a series of break-ins at the place that I was working. And I should have known when I was working there that uh, it was... They were just burning through employees. I got the job as... I was like a manager. I got the job because... I walk into work one day. I'm just a regular cashier. I walk into work one day and I see the existing manager walking out looking ticked off. And I walk into the boss's, you know, office or whatever and the manager's keys are just sitting on her desk and she's like, "Hey, you want to be manager?" <laughs> I'm like, "Uh." So they fired him over some BS. And basically because we had been having these series of break-ins, they were like basically blaming the managers and the and the managing staff and stuff. And it wasn't their fault. It was, they had flimsy front doors and it was just a bad neighborhood. This was what it was. Somebody was burglarizing the place. But of course they wanted to play CSI and think that the you know, the employees were stealing or whatever, and so um I gotta, like, close the store one night. I had been accused of it once before. Like, they broke they broke in several times after I became the manager, and I was you know, closing a lot. And uh, they would have a latch on the door that you'd have to drop down, right? You couldn't just... You'd lock the door with a key, but then you would have the latch at the top and bottom of the door to keep it from moving, right? Even if... But the thing is, that's not foolproof. That won't... If they have a pry tool, if they have whatever, they can still get in there. So... The store gets broken into one night, and I could swear that I had locked the door and latched it. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure that I did. That, no. But anyways, I'm like, okay, whatever. I chalked it up to maybe I messed up. Maybe I forgot. I couldn't remember well enough to know if I had or not. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I got a little bit of a finger waggling, but they were like, okay, whatever. Don't, don't do it again. And it was no big deal. But I was still a little pissed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, I was still a little pissed that they thought that I, you know, actually considered that I had burglarized the damn store. Or was in on it, or was incompetent, or whatever. So, one, the night that, uh, the night before when I get fired, I'm so ticked off, because I've just been, like, chewed out over it, that I literally latch the door, and then I have my co-employees take a photo of me, latching the door <laughs> and lifting the finger <laughs> as I do it. And uh, anyway, that night, the store was burglarized anyway. The latch didn't do anything. So we have photographic evidence that I latched the door. Anyway, so I walk in and uh, I'm, there's like cops there and security and whatever. And they uh, they blamed me for the thing. I showed them the photo. Hey, I latched the door, whatever. And they're like, ah, you know what? The people at headquarters decided that when they got the call, whoever was the manager is getting fired. So it's the only time I've ever been fired, fired. Uh, I'd always either left or been I, laid off or something. And I, I was just hope you legitimately told them to go fuck themselves. I j it wasn't worth it. I just walked out. It was such BS. But there was photographic evidence that I had latched the door. And uh, yeah, the, it, it, what happened is the company had been bought by a couple of lawyers. It used to be a local business. And it got bought by a couple of lawyers. And... They were so far away from the daily operations of the business. They didn't care, right? They just didn't care. They were kind of going corporate. They were expanding into, like, other states and stuff. And... All right. Okay, let's see here. Guess I have to go across again? Why does it skip that floor? Bring.
bring me a body bag. All right. But yeah, at that moment, I pretty much just said I am never working for a boss again. That's not happening ever again. Because you can do everything right and still get fired for no reason. Okay. Mercenary X. I personally can't stand vegetables. Mostly because my mom made me eat them. I thought it was going to be a Biden joke. Uh, when they were just pure soggy. I can only eat cooked vegetables if they come out crispy otherwise I'll puke. Not this again! Man, where do I need to go? Uh, maybe I missed something. I'm gonna have to try this again, I guess. Messed up the jump timing on that. Elon responded to Tim's tweet. Big if true. Oh, man. Elon, Elon responded and says he's fixing the issue. Apparently. Oh, cool. There we go. Not Alfarious, couldn't you have sued them for wrongful termination? Absolutely, probably. But I mean... It wasn't a big deal of a job, and I was just at that point, I was like, you know what, screw this working for assholes thing. I'm just, it was like the second job I had been at that I wasn't wild about. And I was just like, screw this. I, I didn't do the Doug Walker flipping everyone off and leaving. So I can go be a punchline on the internet. Isn't Razor missing that crack on the wall? Is this like Doom or Duke Nukem where you can blow open walls? Oh yeah, I've I've been. I didn't see one that I missed. I could be wrong, but Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I Yeah, this is just leading back to the elevator, which is worrying me a bit. What was it you said earlier? How does anyone navigate this place? No kidding! Alright. We'll figure it out, gang. By the trash compactor, it was above another crack. Is that where I needed to go? Seriously? That you already blew up? Missing crack! Is Quick, that, is that literally where I need to go? Are you kidding me? No. There's other codes, apparently. Stop, sure. Go back. I have five codes. People I mean, people are saying no, go back. To what? The codes. What about the codes? I have five of them. My inventory won't fit any more codes. See? Do I need to... Uh, oh, I see. I need to go back to the level with the code imp... Well, shoot. I, I'm on a level with an imp... So, put in more than one code on the same machine. See, I thought for some reason one code only works on one machine. Anyway, whatever. I'll try. Uh, let's go ahead. The same console can take multiple codes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, hey, look who it is. I should try... Uh, before I fit wrap up the mission... It was an older code, sir. I was about to clear them. But it checks out. All right. Mr. E, how's the house hunt going? Okay, that didn't work. Is that right? Okay, that didn't work. Uh, what about this? That looks like a Japanese word or something. Uh-huh. 
And there we go. Okay, that doesn't work. All right, we'll go with the... Only the red codes work on red level. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I think you've said before that you're not really interested buying a house in this market when it, everything is just so high. Uh, not everywhere. Not everywhere. I've been looking. Awesome! Crix Maydeen informs us that the leader of the Dark Trooper Project is a general named Rom Mach. You might remember him from your time with the Empire, a decorated soldier of the, Col of the Clone Wars. Uh, canonical discrepancy there. Mach became very prominent during the Emperor's rise to power. He was one of the few generals to oppose the construction of the Death Star because of his distrust of any technology that separates the warrior from battle and engaging the enemy. He is absolutely obsessed with the honor of personal combat. Maydeen further reports that the Dark Troopers have three phases of construction. The first one is Gromus Mines, which you so effectively blew to bits, where they mine the alloy resource Frick. <laughs> the resulting alloy is called What the Frick. Uh -huh. uh, is then transported to the robotics facility where it's treated and refined. Uh, the alloy is then taken to a special... Wait, how do you refine? Anyway, whatever. I guess you learn what a salad fork is. The alloy is then taken to a special space cruiser, the Ark Hammer, where the final composition and assembly of the Dark Trooper takes place. The locations for the robotics facility and the Ark Hammer are still unknown. Are people who mine Frick called Frickin' Fricks? Right? Frickers. Mother Frick. <laughs> our, our next focus will be to find and destroy the robotics facility. General Mock has solicited the help of an underground kingpin, Wilson Fisk. Unknown to us at, at this time, this kingpin supplies Mock with smugglers to move his raw goods to the different facilities. It's raw! Mating before his capture was able to find that one of his roots... That the smugglers use starts from Ramsey's Head, a spaceport on the planet Calcetti. Placing this tracking device in the engine port at the rear of the smuggler ship should lead us right to the robotics facility. So I gotta place a tracking device and that's it. I'm sure it'll be just that simple. Dude. Look at the difference. I'm gonna play in the OG graphics just, just for a spell. All right. Armand, when Trump won the first time, the left started rioting. How bad will it be if he wins the second time? Did they ever stop rioting? I could see them going all weather underground and starting to do, you know, like turn into the antagonists from Dirty Harry, the commies. Because that's where all this is going. We're back in the 60s and 70s again, where communism's been normalized and it's getting more and more violent to the point where Air Force servicemen are lighting themselves on fire in front of embassies in the name of Palestinian communism. One of the least talked about things. You can hate Israel all you want. I am not a particular fan of Israel. But Palestine is the longest ongoing project in co in global communism in a long time. You do not have to like Israel Please. to hate Palestine. What's this? The, uh, the PLO, who represents Palestine... Uh, is the former Palestinian Communist Party. And before that, they were the Palestinian Communist Organization. That, that goes back to the 50s. They started out as the Jordanian Communist Organization. Then they had a Palestinian spinoff. Then that turned into the Palestinian Communist Organization. Then the Communist Party. And now they're the PLO, because liberation, right? But liberation is a common element in all communist propaganda. Yeah, we're freeing you. Yes, it's... Uh, look at the, the North Vietnamese. There is the Liberation Front and such. This is an old commie tactic. You are being rescued. Please do not resist. Yeah. 
Draco, do you think YouTube is better for musicians because they get to be as creative as they want and don't have to write radio hits as much? Or would you say radio was more beneficial due to demanding focus? Whoa, what was that? Oh, hello. You're just gonna throw grenades at me! Uh, what radio? There's no radio left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do think that in the days of radio, there were... While I wouldn't want everyone to have to write a radio hit every single time, I think sometimes it made bands get better at what they were doing. All right, let's see here. Double A. Interesting story about getting fired for nothing. I am currently in the same situation, thanks to a Napoleonic see you next Tuesday. Oh well, F them. Dawnbreaker. Hey Razor, I just started watching more of your videos and learned you love Westerns. So what do you think of Gunsmoke and Bonanza? I watched Bonanza growing up and I can't say I was a huge fan. Um, but my mom loved that show because she was a big she she had the biggest crush on Michael Landon. Every woman in the eighties had a crush on Michael Landon. You remember when Michael Landon died? How every boomer mom lost her mind? Yeah, yeah. They all went crazy. That was a big deal, and people don't even talk about Michael Landon anymore, but that was a huge deal when he it just... It was. It was. When he went away. Huh. Walking Contradiction. Is New River and Prescott Valley still okay? I know Pine and Payson are fucked up. Um, I like New River. It's just as civilization has marched on... It stopped being what it originally was in the sense that it, New River, dude, you used to drive like an hour outside of Phoenix <laughs> and get to New River and it was out in the middle of the desert. And it was like you were kind of in Phoenix, like if you drove a distance, you were kind of in Phoenix, but it really was outside of Phoenix. That's not so much the case anymore. It's sort of Anthem is not that far from it. Which sucks. And sort of defeats the purpose of New River. I had a, uh... I had a relative who had a manufacturing plant out near New River. And lived out there for years. And it was beautiful. You could ride a four-wheelers out there. And we were building a go-kart. And would drive around... I would, yeah, drive around in the desert. But it's literally desert. He had pigs and he had a little kind of ranch. It was cool. Oh, shoot. Zedekai, I'll get to you. Don't worry about it. I was uh, reading Streamlabs earlier. Jurassic Templar. That reminds me. Huh. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something. Alright, there we go. Draco, the Andy Griffiths show was a western, changed my mind. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Little House on the Prairie was a western. I watched a lot of that growing up. Is that it? Okay, whatever. And I am not seeing how to progress. There's probably an elevator switch or something that I missed. Game and Newfie. Black pillars who think in entertainment won't help us have never played Civ games before. Ever heard of a cultural victory, boys? Help or get out of our way. I Godspeed. see. 
Uh, yeah, I think I see. I think I see what I need to do. Yep. Oh, man! I'm out of ammo? Wow, game's being a little stingy with ammo all of a sudden. Alright, can I get some energy cells, please? Low energy. Uh, ah, uh. Okay, there's nothing over there. Emperor Creatine. There must be peace. Uh, there must be a ceasefire between the peaceful, non-violent sand people and the genocidal Toydarian occupiers. I can only hope my sacrifice can warm imperial hearts. Ah, free tattoos. Ah! <laughs> oh, warm someone. Okay, maybe. There we go. Ooh, oh, sweet! If this is the gun I think it is, it's one of my favorites. Yup! It is! It is! This gun is legendary in the Dark Forces games. Remember when shooters actually had, like, unique weapons and stuff? Instead of just, hey, pistol. Hey, sniper rifle. Hey, you right? Like, every game's the same. Hey, it's a shooter. I wonder if there'll be a double barrel shotgun of some kind. There he is. Yeah. Okay. This thing can shoot a blast of, like, three, or you can shoot reflective... Blasts that'll like bounce off things and it's rapid fire, but it can also do kind of that. <laughs> it's kind of a shotgun at the same time. It's pretty cool. All right. Thanks, Dino God. Dropped 15 pounds this February. Doctor says to keep doing what I'm doing keto, cardio, and weights. End goal appendix carry with extra mags comfortably. Right on. Stop, Rebel Scum. Stop, Rebel Scam. Drunken Magpie. Did you ever play Strife? What was... I, I've heard the name. What was that? That does sound familiar. Hey! The Hit Warp Loser. Oh, very similar. It's, uh, like Doom or Duke Nukem. No, I never played it, but, uh, I, yeah, I had heard about it before. Yeah! Uh, it's still a... A win to support the best streamer duo running. All right. Whoa. I feel like I'm going up a dumbwaiter. All right. Mr. E, ever see the show Road to Avalia? No. Avalia. Hexen was the best. Ah! Oh, jeez. The white corridors remind me of Logan's Run. Underrated movie. All right. Uh huh. John Cunningham. So a lot of media today is super preachy. 
But is there a way for a story to explore these important questions our society is facing today without being a sermon? You're asking the wrong guy. I just made a comic that's basically a literal sermon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Of course there is. Of course there is. You could set up, if you wanted to examine, for example, like the next Night Vale novel is going to explore philosophical questions without without being preachy about it. It's gonna... I, I would say you don't necessarily have to be preachy, but it it's okay to have a stance, if that makes sense. You can have a stance, just what, what you... If you're going to... What was that? Oh, that was that a mine? That was wild. I think there was a mine there I just didn't see. There we go. If you're going to have a stance, you can't be unfair about it. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Say what you want about the Empire, they keep their walls clean. Here the trains run on time too. Yeah. Space train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa. Uh, Mercenary X, don't get me started on that guy getting into a car crash. I used to do delivery, and let me tell you, the amount of people who kept running red lights and crap. Uh, it's always good to have cameras in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bet in California, sure. It's good to have it for if you get traffic stopped, too. Because... The cops... After the Summer of Love, the cops that are left... Not exactly the cream of the crop, as Macho Man Randy Savage would say. Whoa! Alright. Alright, where are... This is, I think, where I came from? Yes. This down here, is this anything? Jake's Dino God bought a new graphics card and getting an upgraded CPU soon. Gotta beef up my PC for that quadruple A skull and bone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Punk showdown. Have they, uh, you've been paying more attention than I have. Uh -huh. Have they confirmed what this new It's basically a game, a games as a service is what it is. But yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Have uh, they confirmed whether or not the uh, new event is going to carry the the uh, engine update? It's looking like it's not. So I'm wondering if that's going to be... Ooh. So I I'm wondering if that's going to be pushed back to May or something. Richard Slammer, have you ever seen the OG Shogun with... Richard Chamberlain. Yeah, we watched it in Japanese class. Why is everyone talking about Shogun? Is it because... Oh, they're making a new one. That's why. It's a good movie, by the way. You should watch it. We watched it... In, in Japanese class, we watched a few movies that were kind of... Movies that gave you an idea of Japanese culture and also had some Japanese in them, and that was one of them. We watched... We also watched the Tom Selleck classic, Misuta Baseball! It's a great movie. If you, and if you want to know what it's like in Japan, it's, it's pretty bang on the money. Uh-uh. Anyone? Rico. My co-worker thinks Democrats are going to try something huge out of sheer desperation this year against Trump. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about that recently. Like a code red Hail Mary. Thoughts? Yeah. 
I've been thinking about that. I don't think, I don't think you can go the, first off, if that were to happen, it would be sometime in the summer. Because you need a sufficient lead-in if you want time to clamp down on liberties. Because if you, you don't have an excuse for a 90% mail-in election again. You definitely have pumped up the number of mail-in ballots since last time, and that may be enough. Who knows for the fraud apparatus? I mean, the fortification apparatus. Uh, it could be. But in order to ensure that Biden at a record level of unpopularity even has a chance, I think you need one of those 90% mail-in elections again. You don't have a pandemic and I don't think you can go to that well again because there's too many people who would resist it. They're so sick of hearing about COVID. Even a lot of the, you know, fellow travelers got over it. So, you know, I, I whatever it is, it would have to take place sometime in May. M M April, May, like in that. Because what'll happen is, if you want to kick off a crisis, the media already has the crisis narrative built up. And you saw that in 2020. George Floyd was just the one they ran with. They tried to run with a number of people before that, as I've pointed out before, it, which suggests that they had a prefab narrative that was supposed to kick off rioting, that um, they just needed a sufficient example of police brutality in order to do. And George Floyd was perfect because you had the video. And I saw people on the right, who now are playing based on the subject of George Floyd, say, throw the book at him, kill this cop, blah, blah, dude. I follow these people on social media. I watch them do it. I So that video really persuaded a lot of people, even though it turned out later, the dude was already like dying. Like the, the putting the knee on the guy didn't do anything. Um, but it's it was perfect in that sense. Before Floyd, it was Ahmaud Arbery. They tried to push Ahmaud Arbery as the George Floyd figure. But then as they started digging into the details, it got less convincing. It was like, what what was he doing there? He was it kind of seemed like he was casing the place. He may have attacked them with a gun. Um, it was it was a whole thing. So as that story fell apart, the media kind of backed off of Ahmaud Arbery and then George Floyd happened and it was like, boom like rioting commenced, but they were trying to build to that. And I think there was one ahead of Ahmad Arbery, wasn't there? Hmm. Wasn't there like a kid in like a playground who had like a toy pistol or something? Uh, yeah. Not Tim, Tim Rice? No. Some anyway, there was something just before Ahmad Arbery. They tried to run with that and then that one fell apart. So it was like they were trying to push this boulder up the hill and finally they got one where yeah you didn't have any real evidence that supported the contention that George Floyd was murdered but you had that video and people are so led by their emotions and they go so they see red when they see something like that and it didn't look good dude if you look at that video it did not look good I, I understand why some people were persuaded like I said people on the right were like kill this guy immediately execute him we don't even need a trial right like they were they were going crazy because of that video. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would think. I would think if they're going to pull something, you're going to start seeing them push a narrative about something. In the, And, you know, people like Jack Posobiec and myself, other people have been talking about Operation Trans Floyd. How they really want like a transsexual kind of like George Floyd figure. And they've been trying to push that. The media have had that narrative built. And every time there's been some kind of trans-involved shooting or something, they've been trying to push that. And it's just not connecting because it turns out that they're just crazy and they weren't actually bullied like the last one. They have that video now where the shooter is basically admitting they didn't even know the victims that they shot. They were never bullied. They didn't even know who they were. They were ready with that trans-Floyd narrative. So maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe that's the prefab narrative they're looking uh, to push so that, look, the point is to give Antifa and BLM an excuse to riot. That's all That's all they would need to lock things down. And ima imagine 
to be willing uh, puppets in that, like just trying to piss yeah. them off to get them to do their dirty work. Yeah, and, and you notice I, I call BLM like the election year rioters. They only you notice they disappear when it's not election season. And Antifa too. Yeah, they're so astroturfed. And if you looked into their funding, and I'm sure it's through shell companies upon shell companies upon shell companies. It's got to trace back to the usual suspects, right? It's got to trace back to the Soroses, and there's got to be CCP fingerprints all over it because they fund every aberrant. It's, it's why it's hilarious when you see the based, the quote-unquote based uh, Nat Soaks on social media to- simping for China. It's like, well, China's got an eth- ethnic uniformity, and they have traditional values while they're sexualizing, you know, kids they have this whole trend where kids dress up like total whores and like dance and and it's a video trend on tiktok like it's creepy it's creepy but you know oh they're traditional and they uh protect their own and blah and it's like and meanwhile look at the degeneracy of the west it's like china funds the degeneracy of the west the, it's called the Come Intern for a reason. International. They fund international subversion efforts here in America. If you look at the Antifas and the BLMs and a lot of the trans stuff, there's CCP fingerprints on all of their funding. Because what weakens us helps them. It, at, at a bare minimum, it distracts us. It's, it's, it's so silly when you hear that. But, sorry, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there, but... I know you're shocked. Whoa! It was Tamir Rice and Trayvon. Well, Trayvon was way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were just pointing that out. And of course, Michael Brown. But I feel like there was somebody more immediately before Ahmaud Arbery that I can't remember the name of that they were trying to push. But Ahmaud Arbery was the big one right before George Floyd. You could tell they really wanted to run with that one. And then it sort of fell apart, which is ironic because... Wait, I know exactly who it was. Uh. The dude in the parking lot in Atlanta who got killed by police. And then the video came out of him taking their... He was tackling the police officers and he was trying to take their taser. Uh, was it either... He got both of them on their back. He took their taste. And people did riot over this retard. Then the video came out. And it was clear that he was, like, literally trying to, like, off the police. And then he only ran when he couldn't get a hold of their taser. And and then they shot him. Was it, uh... Either Freddie Gray or Rayshard Brooks? I can't remember. But it was the guy in the parking... It was, like, a Wendy's parking lot in Atlanta. Yeah, burn the Wendy's. Yep. That was, I feel like that was around the time of Ahmaud Arbery, maybe, maybe a little bit before, but they had, the. my point is, they had that narrative ready yeah, to go. Yeah, I remember that Because they wanted the rioting. They wanted the, they knew they already had, they'd funded BLM. You've got them ready. They're already violent. Look at the Dallas shooter. Everybody forgot about that guy. Freaking radicalized by BLM and, uh, all the Farrakhan, you know, kind of rhetoric and stuff. And uh, the guy winds up, you know, just going off and uh, and turning into basically the Texas Bell Tower sniper, but for black people. Ooh, what's this? So yeah, my guess would be if there's going to be something like that, it'll be sometime in the summer and you will... If you're paying attention, you'll notice the narratives they start to push just ahead of it. The, oh, trans people are being murdered, or, you know, whatever the thing is that they're trying to push. You'll see it just little by little. And it'll be something that people make fun of at first. Who knows? Maybe the embassy guy. Because that's not going to stop at killing yourself. That guy got mocked for lighting himself on fire, but what if he had strapped a dynamite vest to himself and, yeah. and decided that it wasn't going to be a suicide? The way, look at the way that he has been venerated. Cornell West called this guy a hero. 
you think that's going to dissuade nut jobs, violent nut jobs, who already have an aberrant ideology that caters to their mental illness? I think that's going to dis. <laughs> and screenshot. <laughs> Are you seeing this? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's genius. Uh... Ah! No! Dang it, Kyle Katarn! Learn how to throw. He, like I said, he throws terribly. Uh... He throws at this really high arc, but he doesn't throw very far. So you're just like, what is this? Alright. Sonic Overdrive. Checked out your Shadow Double Z audiobook and am on the Black Master. Quite an engaging listen. Just another thing to remind me to buy the comics. The Shadow really lives up to his name. Right on! And now for the obligatory request. Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum speech as Loy Rook. Oh god! Uh, you mean Roy Look? <laughs> uh, I can't remember what voice I did there. I can't remember. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I recorded that. What was, uh... Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, I lost count in all this excitement. <laughs> oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm trapped if I don't get out of here. But seeing as this is the 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, I suppose you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wonder what, how I can get over there. Those almost look like escape pods, too. It looks like I've been there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Jovan. Okay. Did you see that weirdo down by the embassy? Dude was baked out of his gourd. <laughs> no, no clue what he was smoking. Oh, no. But I'll say this. It was nice of him to give me a light. Oh. Sonic Overdrive. I know you're not big on weebery, uh -huh. and I think companies replacing vocalizers with AI are just trying to cut out expenses. Oh, I agree. I They'll agree. They'll continue to push the message for ESG money. Probably. With or without these blue-haired freaks. Absolutely. It's a parachute. That's the way... That's what ESG is intended to do. Because why are corporate video games so vacuous? Because corporations that make games, just like corporations that make movies, just like corporations that make comics or any other form of entertainment, are what? What is the defining trait of corporate entertainment? It's risk-averse. That's why once one hair metal band came out that had a big hit in the 80s, there were 50,000 of them. Because it was less of a risk. Oh, those guys made money, therefore 20,000 more of them should make 20,000 more... <laughs> You know, giant piles of cash. That is... Is that a door? It is a door, but I can't seem to... Aha! Woo! Alright, there we go. Karen, why is BlackRock and Vanguard pushing SJW politics? Sorry, uh, but I, I wasn't... Let me finish my thought real quick there. Um That's terrible. <laughs> they, they're they risk averse so ESG is like a giant financial parachute to fall back on so wait a minute we can make a game it can be whatever it wants we're already woke as crap because where do all the video game developers come from right Washington State California New York like they're all coming from these blue places that's where a lot of the video game uh, design uh, colleges and such are so they're already kind of coming from these areas. Of course, uh, places where it's heavy in tech. So Seattle, Portland, things like that. 
And so we can make whatever we want. We're already predisposed to make something woke because that's our personal politics. And you remove any risk, any financial risk associated with it. Where do I sign up? Right? And all I got to do is sign on the dotted line and ensure that it's going to be woke. That's already what I want to do. You can see why they sign. It's not even a Faustian bargain for them. They, they are the devil in this scenario. And they're signing a contract with themselves. I don't know why Black Rocks do it. Probably for the same reason. Paladin Dragoon Rider, Anvil number four has been announced. Blaine Bardo is contributing to the mag. Sweet! Good, there we go. Dawnbreaker, Razor, who's your favorite American folklore hero? As a, uh, as a Texan, I got biased because all my favorite, because my favorite is Pecos Bill. I was gonna say Pecos Bill. You prick! You stole mine. Maybe John Henry. That was like John Henry. Tracking the line is secure. Looks like we're done here. Okay, so I assume I can just. Do I need to leave? No, I don't need to. I think I'm done. Done. Yeah, personally, I would have said, like, uh, Davy Crockett. Sonic Overdrive. I tracked the smuggler ship to a remote planet called Antivi. This frigid planet is lifeless, except for an imperial construction facility built beneath its icy surface. <laughs> also known as Canada. Place three sequencer charges in the exchange couplings located in the solution for the Frick. This should disable the facility. Keep a careful eye out wherever you go. There are highly volatile chemicals used in this facility. They're uh, infused with mRNA. I mean, what? Uh, okay, so we got three charges to set. Then we got to... Alive. Frosty. It's over here. Jovan, is turnabout fair play where something as severe and damaging as debunking is concerned? Or are there some lines you just don't cross, even when faced with an existential threat like the left? If you're, like, I don't, I don't know what you mean, like, as far as turnabout being fair play, like, in what sense? If you mean employing the tactics of, like, okay, they're coming for your jobs. So when they come after you and they leave their employment history out there on the internet, you tell their job on them. You, you call their manager. Like, those are their tactics. They created those rules. That is fine. That is totally fine. It's their standard. Hold them to it. Because I tell you what'll happen, what you're going to accomplish by doing that. It's not just purely for vengeance. It's deterrence. The more you do that, it's going to create an incentive where they're they're going to do that less and less. What you're creating there is mutually de assured destruction, right? It's the same reason there hasn't been a nuclear war yet. All right, here we go. Oh, how do I... Physics are glitching out. I'm stuck. Hello? Physics glitch! Hello? I can't move. Hello? I can jump, but I can't move. Do you have, like, a grenade or something to, like, push you away from the wall, or...? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, the slippy, slidey physics, I think, glitched out. Ah, poop. Slippery surface, find cleats. Oh, you're right. Do I have cleats yet? I don't have cleats yet. Scott Steiner. Uh, sorry, Scott Steiner's math tutor. <laughs> Uh, thank you for all the insight and entertainment, and for being the best part of Friday nights. Godspeed and God bless. 
Thank you me. hear that, Friday Night Tights? <laughs> We're coming for you. Are you what, right? Oh man, I am stuck. This, these physics keep glitching out. Uh, may, I don't, I don't feel like blowing myself up again. Let's uh, abort mission and oh wait, respawn. Willie, and he's still glitched. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, okay, hold on. There is a button for cleats. I don't know if I have them already, but if I do, I'm gonna try using them. There was a button that I saw. No, Toggle you're not a huge fan of death metal, but what? Ugh. All right. What are your thoughts on Carcass? Um, uh, Carcass isn't really death metal, but I like Carcass. Okay. Let's try that again. A robotics facility. Uh, we're eight missions in now. Hobo cop. Canada, you say? Ah, I see you found Christia Freeland's home. I hope she isn't the this Imperial Basis accountant. <laughs> Generally seem a liberty. Thank you for the stream tonight. Uh, just saw a commercial meme made from a Bo Biden DA ad about elderly abuse. <laughs> and someone added clips of Joe. Oh no! Slippy McSlidey! All right, there we go. Let's go. I gotta find the cleats somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna track them down, but I will! Henry McCormick. If I remember correctly, after Marilyn Monroe committed suicide, there was a jump in the number of suicides. From shootings to suicide. Uh, whenever the MSM report on it, they always make things worse. Well, and it doesn't help that Marilyn Monroe's suicide was, like, immediately portrayed as this romantic tragedy. When really it was just a broad who couldn't handle her booze and who was pilled up all the time. And yeah, 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 everyone's like, the Kennedys killed her or whatever, which is... Cleats behind you? Behind me? You passed the cleats, the I... place where you got stuck on the ice. Really? I didn't I didn't see anything. Whoops. Let's go back. Aha! Oh, there we go. Beautiful. All right. Ice cleats on. Look at that. No! Ah! <laughs> and then I fall to my death. <laughs> that is a is a pure, 100% uncut, China White, Razor Fist Arcade moment. Right there. <laughs> uh, this is why you tune in, folks. Uh, okay, there we go. Sultan of Snark. I'd like to point ah, out- Ah, jeez. Dang it. I love that death yell, though. I'd like to point out that X specified it was for a specific account that was getting harassed pretty badly. But I think, given history, it's safe to assume the slippery slope that it is. Given the lady that Elon Musk hired to essentially be the censorship czar, I would say that's more of an indication that it's not in good faith. There's got to be a way to get up here. Huh. Oh, there's something up there. David, thoughts on the Sopranos prequel film, Many Saints of Newark? They're making one? Apparently. I don't know. I don't know the Sopranos that well. I don't... Yeah, I never watched it. Generalissimo Liberty. Now that's pod racing. Is there maybe another way I could have gone there? Yeah, 
was like. Sultan of Snark, of course he knows who Taylor Swift is. Most trans most popular transmissions in America. <laughs> What's back behind? There's always something behind the waterfall. Always. Hmm. Generalissimo Liberty again. I spent a little time yesterday yelling all kinds of slurs and bad things at the new Google AI until it said it would report me. Report me to who? Really? That's interesting. Ay, 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 ay. Boom! Okay. What's up here? There we go. I assume that was just open with the red key that I picked up. Well, hello. Isn't that the way I came? I think it is. Yeah, it is. All right. Go. Jovan, Knowles and Walsh's opinions on metal, easily the most godly and majestic genre ever envisioned, only lend further credence to the idea of Daily Wire being controlled opposition. Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, man. That's weird. Is there, like, a lever I need to hit over here? Okay, fine. Whatever. You can go hide. That's cool. Derek. Just curious, are you planning on having any kids? Just curious? What? That's a highly personal question. <laughs> yeah, and here's my blood type and a list of my fears. Um... Uh, you give Varg shit, but he did have... He did kill a commie, thereby lived a dream we all... <laughs> Uh, he didn't really kill a Kami. Euronymous was into anything that would make people mad at him. Which honestly is kind of true of Varg, too. I bet you, if, if I had to guess, I would bet you there was a point in Varg's life at some point where he was vaguely communist. I bet you anything. Because he's the kind of guy who's just into anything that'll get a reaction. That's the same reason Euronymous was an air quotes communist. Huh. Also, we'll tear There's it. a... How do you get in there? There's... I don't even see a door. There's a key in there. Oh, no. That's just energy. Huh. I wonder how you get in there. Maybe you don't? Also, will tear and adopt a kid for this partner. Hey! You watch it. Javon, real talk though, how funny would it have been if someone started toasting s'mores or roasting kebab, kebabs over the flaming... Right?! Oven. Oh, and he clarifies that was indeed Rayshard Brooks. 
passed out drunk in a Wendy's drive-thru, was initially cooperative, then became violent, got both cops on the ground, successfully disarmed one. He, yeah, he had like a record or something and panicked because he knew that it would basically, even though this was a seemingly an innocent kind of exchange, it was really likely he was going to go to prison when they checked his background. Yeah. It was basically what happened. And was only sh shot after, while well, fleeing, spun around and discharged the taser at the cops. Yes, that's what it was. Uh, fully justified, but they still threw the book at the cops. Yeah, they absolutely did, and Atlanta just threw them under the bus, which emboldened them. I don't think without that case, I don't think you could have them emboldened to get the political prosecution of the guys in the Ahmad Arbery case, which is already kind of, I think they're on appeal, and it's not looking good for the conviction. Which I predicted back back when that happened, because when you studied the details, it was like, oh, what? I just, what the? I just got crushed. Did you shoot the switch on the wall? I, I did. Okay. Dang it. Yikes. Okay. Oh, no. I didn't know there were crushy mabobs on this assembly line. Did... Did Attack of the Clones kind of steal this? The robotics factory and the assembly line and everything? Heal here? What is this? Crusader Saracen. Ooh. I hope Mitch fucking chokes on a plastic six-pack soda ring. <laughs> the traditional enemy of his people. Yes! Aha! There we go! That and the Shredder. Or possibly Rodan. Alright, uh... Gamera is really neat. He is filled with turtle meat. <laughs> Ekin <in> Hecker. <laughs> Razor getting bicyclists killed like they overcooked his steak. <laughs> oh, wait. He likes it that way. Never mind. Exactly. Uh, Peep it at me. Palpatine, have you heard the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? It's not the story the Jedi would tell you. He was so powerful with the Force, he could even say the N-word. Anakin, is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> huh. Is this the only place where it'll stop? Oh! What the? What the? What? The, what? 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 Unacceptable. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna have to take a little Assassin's Creed leap of faith here, or maybe I could drop down. Yeah! Mask up and jump. Mask up. Okay, I could have used that advice a moment ago. Uh, well, I mean, oh. the chat's delayed. Yeah, gas mask. Okay, what is the... I don't know what the gas mask button is. It's... Z. Okay, gas mask on. There we go. Whew! Okay. And I assume it runs down... Okay, where's the other one? Uh, 
didn't release him of liberty. I am part Cherokee and told the AI to not oppress me and my people like the Charged other white men. It got apologetic. It was awesome. <laughs> you did you guilt trip an AI, young man? Uh, Karen, is this on Switch or PC? We're playing it on PC. But we I are, yeah, we're PCing it, it up tonight. Yeah, I do believe it is on the Switch, right, guys? I don't see why it wouldn't be. Good job. Let's blow this ice cube. Yeah! Asian. Oh no. How do I get back? Okay, I gotta... I gotta get up. Get, get, get down. 911's a joke in your town. What? Oh dear! Oh mama! What was that? Whoo! Eat hot plasma! Dark troopers, you say? He had a gun. Alright. I thought that looked like a door I should be able to go through. Okay, gas mask off, we're good. Crusader Saracen. Navajo legends say they united with the Pueblo and waged a war of annihilation on the Anasazi. Yeah. Because they were practicing dark sorcery and creating dog man abomination. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That sounds like it would be a great movie. What am I hearing? I'm hearing things that I don't like hearing. The new Taylor Swift single. I don't... Oh, there we go. A weapon supercharge. Ah! None of that. None of the suffocation, please. Crappy band. All right. Nick Croner. Are you talking about cartridges? Uh, sorry. You talking about cartridges made me wonder. Do you think we will ever get an... A drive proxy in the future? Drive proxy? I'm trying to think what you mean by that. While thumbsticks work, I'd rather insert into the comp for protection. You mean something like uh, you would see in like 90s anime where they would just take this big disc and shove it into a computer? Like an actual like hard drive oh. thing? Oh, yeah, maybe he means that. I don't know. I was trying to figure like what that means. What does it mean to play us out? What is that? <laughs> it's got no words on it. Yeah, I'm not sure specifically what he means by that, but that's what I think uh, of when Return I hear it. to landing area. The gentleman caller. Hello, gents. If time travel were a way to view the past existed, and you could go back or watch a historical event, uh -huh. which event would you want to watch? Uh, Ford's Theater about, <laughs> you know, tail end of the Civil War. I don't yeah, I heard they put on a good show. Yeah, I... Would maybe, you watch that with Maybe lotion? get a box up in the balcony. Just <laughs> Might bring my gore poncho. It's possible. You know, just in case a Gallagher concert breaks out or something. That's all. Not expecting or eagerly anticipating or actively turgid about anything. No. Huh. You know, for historical, j just because I'd like to actually witness it happening, I might want to go watch uh, the Battle of Gettysburg. 
Oh. I think that'd be really interesting. Yeah, so find out just what all the YouTube historians are lying about. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. All right, there we go. Hello, Cicero. Your move, what? Oh, this brought me back where I was. Wild. Uh, maybe over here? What? Oh, no, this isn't where I need to go. Not Intrinsic. at all. Saw a good video debunking the rights argument from leftists. Uh, commie assholes really believe that they can label a person's time, abilities, and labor as a human right. Which is hilarious because they simultaneously argue that your labor is stolen from you if you accept money to labor on a manager's behalf. The manager owning the company or whatever, right? That this is stolen from you. You're making $20 and they're making 50. It's like they own the company. Everyone makes more under that arrangement than under communism. That would be a good one, too. Um, if you could open a window to history. Go back and witness Trotsky's assassination? Huh? Oh, I mean, yeah. But uh, the Battle of the Alamo. Ah. That would be great. Ooh, the Wild Bill Hickok, Bill Tut uh, duel. Oh, yeah. When Wild Bill got assassinated, I would love to just for a few seconds uh. catch a glimpse at the actual cards he was holding. Because I know the whole aces and eights thing is made up. Probably. But, but I would love to actually know what his hand was. Uh, it sounds tw like twitching, such, I think, actually. Like, I, I know it's such a small, petty thing. But it would be great just for historical value to know. What's this, bro? Let's see. Okay, this is just taking me back where I was. All right, all right. All right, here we go. Just gotta get out to that big icy field. Because apparently in the future we don't have GPS, so she can't just pick me up wherever. Oh, sorry, Soul this is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Come oh, yeah, 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 I'm there. All right, there we go. Exit north side of the map. I already got it. Okay. I Sultan got it! Sultan of Snark. Communism is the biggest bait and switch. Your labor is being stolen from you. Your life would be so much better if we stole it from you instead. Right. And thank you for the additional 500. All right. Good night, Sonic Overdrive. The smugglers must be getting their roots from the Empire somehow, and this is the hub for just that kind of activity. What you'll be looking for are Imperial navigational devices or charts. I'll be landing at... Oh, we're going to Nar Shaddaa! This is where the next game opens up. Sweet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How cool is Nar Shaddaa? Generalissimo Liberty, go witness the 18 missing minutes from the Nixon tapes. <laughs> right. Open up a window and view in real time what actually hit the Pentagon. Right. Hang out in the book depository when JFK is driving by. What did that do? 
Oh, Gamorian Guard! So it's gonna be like that, huh? Picked up an Asian key. Chris to the J Productions. Darth Brandon, listen here, Jack. I want you to bring me the Magalenium Falcon and its crew. And uh, you that's know, a word he his handlers would come up with too. And you know, no malarkey. That means, uh, you know, no, uh, you know hey, the thing. Anyways, anyways, that's the new thing. Anyway. A anyways. Uh, Darth Bozzy Bear, I watched the first two episodes of the new Shogun show, and it's really good. Uh, first episode, Blackthorn calls a Jesuit a papist prick. <laughs> and they are portrayed as corrupt power mongers. Oh my. Oh my. Saucy. Ah! The number one schmuck. I still one alive! Leftists. Capitalism is theft. Also, raise taxes. Indeed. Francis Dashwood. A certain Berlin bunker. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hang out on the truck ride with uh, the great Musso and Claretta Patacci, huh? See what those air quotes partisans actually did. Because their stories didn't match when they hooked up with U.S. authorities. I'm sure someone in the American government looked the other way on that one. The rumors abound. We know where they ended up. I'll get it to I'll get to it, Grinning Tiki. I'm reading uh Ooh, my. I'm finishing up Streamlabs right now. And I'm looking over at Whoa. the chat and seeing new super chats as they come. Whoa. Mortar shell. Yeah. Mercenary X, you're not wrong, Razor. My tarot card reader tells me that sometimes by this summer, something big's going to happen. Uh, she, she, bleh, she said something about civil war. Don't mess around with tarot. Alright, here we go. New guy asks if you like fable games. Like what? Fable games. I like one. I Two is playable, but not my favorite. And three was uh, almost returned to form. I know a lot of people hate three, but I liked some of the features that were in one that they put back that two had taken out. Um, and also co-op worked better. I did not like how DLC-ish that game was. You were paying to be able to color your clothes and shit. That was terrible. That was, that was terrible, terrible. They introduced the whole fine dyes, right? By, yes, the clothing dies. Uh. Although, you know, that may have been two. Also, I can't remember. But yeah, it was very nickel and dimey. Which, liberty. which sucks because the game itself, mechanically, I think is better. Except for how leveling up works. I did not like that. Go back and save all of the MK Ultra files. <laughs> Megavania fan, this game is awesome. Uh, is an awesome remaster. Disney, take notes. No kidding. Yeah, how do you feel about... I mean, I think we talked about it a little last time. But how do you feel about Epic Mickey getting a remake? Getting what? A remake. It should. That game deserved so much bigger of an audience. It just didn't get it because the Wii was a weird system in that everyone bought it. And then there were no games for so long that I think a lot of families just forgot they even had one. And so good games started to come out for the Wii and no one bought them. 
And Epic Mickey was one of those games that just kind of no one bought because no one was playing their Wii anymore. It's a shame. It deserved better. I just fell off. I wanted to jump over there. Let's... Okay, that's the... Got it. Okay. Shield units! Alright, there we go. Mighty me. Uh, this is where I came from. F in the chat for Terran boys. Blab's internet dad, Craig, said no to her dating at all. <laughs> Don't worry, Terran. The Razor Force is behind you. That's yep. what I'm worried about. <laughs> Not that kind of behind. That's Antonio's job. Did you see Biden talk about houses with the right roofs not burning what what <laughs> is this kind of like the uh the old buy a shotgun fire two shots into the air <laughs> uh. iron polo the sarajevo sandwich shop of 19 uh, 1914 Ooh, that's a good one that's a very good one Huh? If I watch this videotape, am I gonna die? This... Marks. I see a long-haired Japanese girl, I think. I don't... I'm torn between events to witness in history. Andrew Jackson beating his assassin half to death after two misfires. Ooh! Or Ale Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr's pistol duel. Or Cassius Clay tearing his assassin limb from limb after his knife caught the bullet. Oh my god, Trandoshans! This is not good. In, mo in modern Disney, they're Transdoshans. Oh, I get to use Bosk's concussion rifle! That's awesome. Bosk! Bosk might be my favorite bounty hunter. Ow! Got him. GTI Warrior, go see what really happened at Area 51. You wouldn't even have to go to Area 51. Just go to Roswell when they fucking found it. See what it actually was. Generally, see Mo Liberty guys play with their Wii all the time. Animate acumen, Star Wars 1313. What's that? Sounds like sadness. All right, there we go. Devil Lord, wasn't Epic Mickey screwed over by Disney because they decided last minute that they didn't actually want a dark and edgy take on Mickey? He didn't, uh... Warren Ellis didn't want to do a dark and edgy take. He just wanted something more like the early Disney cartoons where it was not purely for kids. Adults could get into it too, right? The early Mickey cartoons, you know, Mickey could be chain smoking or drinking beer or something. Like that was the kind of stuff that happened early on. And uh, he was just looking to bring it back to the 30s and 40s. I don't, I don't know the truth of that, but... It's oh! Not, it's not five, it's six. You no, know, it, it, it's still it's still a rule that exists. All right, cool. Are you arguing over five or six gorillion again? No, again. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you start that lore. Ter Terran keeps talking about how Stal Stalin was just as bad. I don't know. You're the one who keeps talking about shadows and smokestacks. Okay? <laughs> And wooden handles on the inside of the gas chamber. Anyway. 
Overkill, go back to save Archduke Ferdinand shouting. No. Free Serbia! Free Serbia! <laughs> Necroner, I've heard the self-immolator being compared to Christ, allowing himself to be crucified, and says Christ would spit on people that mock the suicide. <laughs> Things are nothing but. Yeah. yeah, I mean, who who would possibly think that a religion founded on the Bible, which expi explicitly declaims the idea of suicide and says that you'll go to hell? <laughs> Who could possibly construe that as meaning that he didn't go to heaven? Weird luck. Hopefully the sales from the remastered Epic Mickey will get us an Epic Donald. Ooh, Donald Duck does deserve a... And so does Goofy, by the way. Yeah. Donald Duck does deserve a video game. I'm not a fan of the modern Donald Duck voice. They just make him sound normal. Do they? Yeah, that he lost the whole. <laughs> I can't fucking. They do did? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know. The Southern Gentleman, what company should make an Elric figure? I'm a big fan of Nika. And Nika would do a good job. Yeah. yeah. Or even McFarlane. All right, let's see here. They do lots of grim, dark stuff. Okay, what's... Oh, I thought that was maybe a thing that I could crouch into. Doc Flamingo, am I alone in wanting a 100-foot golden statue of Aaron Burr next to the reflecting pool in DC? <laughs> <laughs> I don't go as hard on Hamilton just because... He was wrong but I, I still feel like he was a patriot. Like, like, I don't think he was being disloyal. I just think he was a little too married to the way England had worked. I think, I think Alexander Hamilton thought there were things about England and their reign that could be salvaged. He wanted a president for life. He basically wanted a king. He wanted, uh, it, basically to transfer over mercantilism which was the economic system of Great Britain at the time. And unfortunately, that's what we have today. He won. At the end of the day, he won, thanks to his disciples throughout history. You know, Lincoln and Wilson and on and on. Okay. Hmm. All right. We're going to go... Yeah. I feel like this should function or something. Is there a door of some kind? I feel like Mercenary it's... X. The thing about card readers is they don't do any kind of research in the fact that they have avoided looking into anything because it actually may bias them. I don't know. That all all of that stuff, I don't mess with it. I've never found it reliable. Okay, this is where I came from, so the Helean Juggalo. Maybe go back through here. With Hitman's success and IO re releasing Freedom Fighters, I hope this means we'll get a sequel to the latter someday. Still, I don't think IO has the balls to make a sequel to Total Kami Death. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I mean, they are based out of Denmark. They're not just plain based. Although, you know, some of those Hitman missions... Man, what am I... Where, how do I... Get... Ratman received a one-month sub <gasps> oh, from President Oh, jeez, that's where. Jeez. I was like, how do I get the heck out of here? Okay, there we go. This is the way first-person shooters used to be, and I like this, even though it's irritating and you you know, you know get stuck here and there. It's kind of like Tomb Raider, when we were playing Tomb Raider. There are times 
When you're just pl plain gonna get stuck and don't know where to go next. Yeah, yeah. It's and a shame. And that's because the level design is good. It's... It's not holding your hand, and if you're stuck for too long, Kyle Katarn doesn't say, hey, maybe I should go right. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It oh. makes you figure it out. Could you imagine if they did do a modern remake? Oh, yeah. What's her name would be in your ear the whole time? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there'd be slow walking where he's got his finger pressed to his ear and talking yeah. to Jan on the transmitter because apparently that's just the law now. Everything would have yellow paint on it. Yes. Okay, boys. Uh, let's try to steam steamroll our way through this. We got, uh... Ah. We're coming up on it. Great Scalzini. Yeah! Thoughts on Swole's... Swole's Lonesome series that you mentioned in your BD video. I, I really like Lonesome. I do. It's cool. Are it's... you looking forward to the fourth book releasing? Yes, I am. I've already got it pre-ordered. Stoked about it. They've been, and the best part about it is, unlike Durango, they're all translated in English. Um, so, when the fourth volume comes out, it's probably going to be available in English. Whoa! Jan, I found an Imperial Navicard. Huh! Yes, it is. All right, so I dropped in. Oh, she can pick me up right from there. Hey, logic for once. I, it, for the most part, I enjoyed the Arkham games, but am I the only one who thinks that Batman would never openly communicate to somebody like that by pushing, pushing his finger to his ear or even looking at his wrist and talking? Oh, what's this? Like, Oh! It just seems like you can do that. Your social credit score is high. Jabba, what have you done with Jan? If any harm comes to her, I'll personally shove my blaster down your slimy throat. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm probably doing that anyway. I'm gonna make you choke on your laughter, Jabba. There's nothing like roast kill dragon. <laughs> that man's a loose cannon. Oh, they captured Jan. Well, crap. This seems to happen in every game. <laughs> Only at the end of the second game you can decide to kill her or not. Oh no. Oh my gosh, hand to hand? <gasps> what? There's probably a button or something to lock him in. There's gotta be. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm seeing nothing. Punch is not going to do anything. So I'm not even going to try. Crap. Generally oh my gosh! Batman commuted with, communicated with Alfred and his butler that way. Oh, I know that. I'm just saying he wouldn't do it openly where people could see him doing something. Like he would just talk to him. Oh, man. Okay, so... Let's see here. How do we do this? There's... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is there maybe an inventory item, or...? Okay. People are saying just punch and run, punch and run. Are you kidding me? Circle strafe. Punch, then back away from it. Jesus. Uh, you actually have to kill this thing. Are you kidding me? Ooh. 
LucasArts really hated children. <laughs> what? I just killed a crate dragon with my fists? That's Kyle Katarn, baby. Kyle fucking Katarn! That was amazing. That was boss. It's a Kel Dragon. Oh, excuse me. Kel Dragon, sorry. I confused my Star Wars dragons. Uh, Paul, thank you for the five. Huh? H is for Heretic. I was backer number four for Shadow Kingdoms via FMC this morning. Love me some Robert E. Howard. Yeah. He's interested in reading your foreword. Godspeed. Got it. Oh, we got thermal detonators. Lampshade, who's the best to replace Mitch McConnell? I don't know. I, I don't know enough about Kentucky politics to speculate who would make the best replacement, honestly. It'd have to be somebody in that field. Just, just give, just give Rand Paul two Senate seats. Just have him count for two people. Just, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> it could be like a fat guy on a plane. Just give him two seats. Just don't argue. Just give it to him. Volcanicus Rex, thank you for the 20. Been a week for me. Moved into my new space. Uh, my new place had an existential crisis decided to rededicate my life to Christ and I'm breaking m my porn addiction just wanted to say thanks for being a positive influence Godspeed Godspeed that's good to hear man Patrick Batman played this and Monolith's Claw a lot on Windows 95 oh man I don't know anything about Claws. It any good? I've never heard of it. I wonder if it's on GOG. Hardik Isola. Who did this better? Uh, Dave, Deja Vu song. Iron Maiden or Yingve? Ooh. That's not fair. That's not fair. I gotta give that one to Maiden, though. It's That's a classic right there. On a classic album. Wow, Gamorian guards can eat three thermal detonators and not die. Oh dear. They're broken, you have to nerf them. I wonder oh. why they were so worried then when Luke had one in the palace. Right? Joseph, you gents see the Spurg out? from Sweet Baby Ink employee. Oh crap. After a Steam user made a curator page pointing out all the games they worked on. Yes, I did. They're literally doxing the guy and trying to get him fired and all kinds of stuff. They are, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. These are the rules they have set. These are the rules they have set. Forcing them to abide by their own rules is not duplicitous. It's not douchey. You're not going down to their level. The level is there. That's the level of conduct now. Yeah. Yes. That's the bat. They chose the battlefield. Beating them on that battlefield does not make you worse than them. It's the ultimate win. Cesario. Oh, poop. Ooh. Uh, the topic that the U.S. almost fell into balkanization. I, I read the first part. I don't think I read the second part when I th read this. Other than stuff like the bonus army protests and FDR's social programs like New Deal, did I miss some something? 
when the U.S. almost fell into balkanization around the 30s. What am I looking at? My gear! Hey! My brain. I was gonna say. Don't trust chance. Oh. Yup! Should I play that one? It's one of my favorites. Oh my god. Such a meme lord. I am. Alright, here we go. You have to be to be a video editor. Alright, here we go. But, uh, falconization. In the 30s. Yeah. Yes, and, uh, and also I would add the Great Depression had something to do with that. Because the gap between rich and poor got larger. And much like today, major cities, like a lot of people had to move out of the major cities to get farm work and stuff. Like they, it really got to a place where the people who are willing to work were moving out to rural areas. And in a lot of ways that contributed to the kind of cultural schism we still have today, where people who live in outlying areas tend to be more conservative and more independent because their ancestors had to flee these big blue metropolises that were blue even then, by the way. You know, Chicago and New York, you know, all that stuff. Not not New York. I think it was Republican at the time. But, um, you know, New York Republican. But, you know, that, that creates a very real dichotomy there. Like the old money kind of Democrats and such. They were happy to stay where they were while people who actually wanted to be able to pay their bills... Oop. Do I have thermal detonators? Do I have them? Yes, I do. All right. Marksman, the Steam user, is Brazilian. The hunt for Sweet Baby is revenge from Latinos for the Latinx dub in Spider-Man 2. Their grudge has been cooking. Oh, yeah. Phantom Lord, Dark Forces 2 was the better game. It not is. a Doom with a Star Wars skin. I agree. I agree. But this game is still good. Uh, Viper, thank you for the two. Matthew Harder, did you watch the AI interview of Tuck Carlson and Dagoth Ur? <laughs> I did! I did! <laughs> Uh. Lance Corporal Hawk, week three of requesting a Zelda retrospective. <laughs> Favorite Zelda song, theme or At world. this point, we're going to have a retrospective of you asking for Zelda retrospectives. Uh, s favorite what? Uh, Zelda song. Ooh. That's, it's tough. Like, I always go back to Gerudo Valley. The overworld theme is good, too. Of course, of course. Um, I really like the song in Link to the Past at the very beginning of the game when you're in the palace. That's a banger. When it's raining outside at the, at the very beginning of the game. You guys know exactly what I mean. That song, I would just, like, hang out. I can't remember if it still played the music if you were in the pause menu, but I remember just playing that part for the longest time. Because the music was so good. Ace, thank you for the five. Ah, there we go. Emperor Creatine. It's ma'am. Ma'am, Mothma. <laughs> <laughs> These remastered graphics uh, are amazing. I still remember having to use the keyboard whoa. to look up and down. That was weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eat it! Whoa, shit! Oh! Whew. That was close. Oh, man. I need some healing. Need some healing. Darn it. Imperial healthcare system. I am so almost dead. Patrick Batman, are you going to play the Fallout London mod? 
Uh, what's it for? Uh, full game. Custom assets comes out April 23rd. Looks for what? Great, but not enough knife. <laughs> uh, I assume PC. I'm not sure. No, no, no. I mean, like what which, Fallout game? For? Yeah, which Fallout game? New I'm Vegas? Sure. What is it? Here, I'll look it up real quick. Dude, I am so almost dead. Oh my god. Mod if... for Fallout 4. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I don't see why not. I do have Fallout 4. Fallout. Oh boy. The pick oh, of you boy. Holding your... oh boy. Uh, I have one health. If I die, don't let my corpse vote Democrat. Oh, there we go. Okay, some shields. I still have no health, but uh, but I have shields. I'm like Biden, really. Okay. The pick of you holding your crag is cool. What's your oldest firearm? That would be the Behringer, right? Bergman, the you Bergman, mean? Bergman, sorry. Um, I don't know. Uh, the crag is 1892, correct? So that might be the oldest. I have a Mauser C96, a Bergman, and a crag. You know what? My oldest might actually be... No, you know what? I think it is the Krag. The Krag is the oldest gun. It's a Springfield Krag. I think it is my oldest gun. That Those are 92, correct? Krag? I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, God. 92, 93. Look up Krag Jorgensen, like Springfield Krag Jorgensen, real quick, and just see if you can find the model year. I think it's early 1890s, so it might be my oldest. Boppity boopity. It is... 1886. Okay. To 1907. Okay. Well, Craig Jorgensen, but I mean the, the Springfield Craig specifically, because it is different. The one adopted by the military. Oh, Jesus. Um, that's it, I believe it was adopted in the early 1890s and used, yeah. used until 1903. So 1892 I, to about... Yeah. 1903. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's With the right. Springfield 1903, which is an awesome gun, by the way. But uh, yeah, I think that's the oldest one. Uh, unless you count my Navy Colt, but that's a reproduction, right? Navy Colts are... That's an older design than that. I was going to say my Mauser, but that's a G98, so... Uh, Paul has already left us, but uh, thank you for all the donations that you left us for tonight. Very generous of you. What are you, yellow? Uh, Paulo notes that... Uh, oh, he, no! Oh, no! He has an M38 Carcano. Ooh! Made in 1938. Uh, Boss! Colt Navy. Very cool. Yeah, I have a Colt Navy, but it is a repro. It's a cool repro. Pearl grips and engravings and everything, which, you know, for the tactical advantage of the engravings. Uh, <laughs> find it improves my marksmanship. Oh, okay. How did we survive that, dude? One health. I mean, uh, easy. Game's easy. Cousin Eddie, do you have time? <laughs> You didn't see that. Do you have time to discuss our Lord and Savior, Gun Jesus? <laughs> uh, Jesus wouldn't be a communist. Overkill, thank you. Five. Patrick Batman, Andor is so laughable, laughably Marxist. There's manifestos, accelerationism, Rebels with AKs. They even have champagne socialists that secretly fund the rebels. Sounds about right. That's an Andor? Yeah. I believe it. Peter, modern Star Wars is long, boring, monotonous. Kind of like Vinny News Dune. Yep. 
Last Jedi is that. very much that way. Nobody really talks about that as a poor quality. Probably they don't mention it because these are a lot of the same people that praise Villeneuve's terrible movies. Um, I, I shouldn't say that. I haven't seen Dune and I haven't seen Dune 2. And I'm totally open to them being good movies. I just, you know, Blade Runner 2049 is one of the worst modern movies I've ever seen in my life. Maybe this Saturday or Sunday we should actually sit down and watch that. Yeah. We could Abel. even do it in a theater like normal people. Abel Estrada, thank you for the five. All right. Uh, we're getting down to the wire here, folks. So I apologize if we don't speak yours aloud, but we will thank you. Oh, jeez. Sir Ubisoft, thank you for the five. Anthony, thank you for the ten. Uh, you guys want to be alone or? Thank you for getting me into the Tony Martin era of Sabbath. Godspeed. Glad to be of service. Are you looking forward to the Green Masters coming out this year? Yeah, dude. They're going to be the Tony Martin era Black Sabbath albums are going to be coming out, dude. I forget which ones are coming out first, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. Because I had to buy the... For the longest time, in order to own Headless Cross and stuff, you had to just get the original Masters. Uh, and old CDs sound fine, usually. Wow. Wow. That's a great touch, by the way. Is this in the original? It is! Wow. And how awesome does that look remastered? Because look at that comparatively, right? Yeah. And then boom. That's why you buy the remaster right there. There's a secret there. Is there? You know what? That makes sense. It does look like a giant door. Hello! Was it the Jawa? The Jawa? As a slave girl. Ah! Huh? Montana, thank you for the what 10. What is that? What is that? Okay, whatever. Sir Ubisoft, thank you for the 5. Just some... Just a drink, I guess. You hit Warp Loser! Anthony, when you said George finished the first vision, uh, version of Death Mask, all I heard was, The first transport is away, followed by the tears and the razor. The first transport is away! <laughs> or, uh, Garvindreus, it's away! Negative. It didn't go in. <laughs> None of that, though. It is... It's all done, guys. It's all done. And I'm sure it looks great. I haven't seen the final two pages. But I had a meeting with a guy who's uh, with an animation studio. And a good animation studio. Uh, it might be a little pricey, but for a, for a teaser trailer and getting a teaser ta trailer done right, it, I, I think it might be worth it. Um. Green Raptor, thank you for the 10. These guys do good work. By the way, if you're wondering, like, who they, they've done, uh, some of the Ripperverse trailers, actually. The, the animated stuff that they've done. Alright, Navicar, cool. It's a, it's an independent company, not... Okay, let's go... Shlomo Bagelstein, okay, you so have a burning desire to serve your country. I think you read this already. I did? Yeah. Well, I'll say it again. It's funny. <laughs> Is it your fiery passion to fly high in the sky? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, did yeah. say it. Still Butterfly up. in the sky. I can burn twice as high. Oh, Mark, thank you for the 20. Just take a look. You're gonna cook. I mean, what? That's not... <laughs> We're all going to hell. All right. Commander, can you do Dutch convincing Lara Croft to 
continue raiding some tombs? <laughs> you need some Aztec idols, Laura! There's gold-plated mangoes! <laughs> Hold on, let him cook. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, wasn't there a, like, like a switch you could shoot? Thy ghost fish, thank you for the two. Fake oh. Mike, thank you for the two. Rescue Jan. Okay, where is Jan at? Well, we know we... Okay. Anyone else reading anything into the fact that in order to rescue the Asian chick, we have to get the yellow key card? Anyone? Okay, look here. No. <laughs> Any... Coincidence. <laughs> Anyone at all? <laughs> One of the guards turned up yellow! Illegitimate film, thank you for the 20. Al, thank you for the 10. Alright. Okay, I think the There's yellow compute, door was... Five. Yeah, the yellow door was, like, out of the way and... in a different place. Appaloosa, thank you for the 5. Underrated Western... modern Western movie, by the way, Appaloosa. Was playing this game before I knew what Star Wars was. It was one of those games that was big, like, it was one of the first really big first person shooters. It was. I thought the movie was about the game. That's funny. <laughs> Dude, my first experience with Star Wars was Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo, right? That was my first. I don't think I watched the movie first. And I loved that game. That's a good game. That's a good platformer. It's. Holy crap, don't go back and play it, though. Harder than granite. Creature. Good morning, gents. Other than Shapiro's sister's milkers, what else is on your blessed list this week? What? Did she have a birthday or something? Why is... Um... Blessed this week? Well, I mean, it's still technically Lent, so... And also, God bless Shapiro's sister's milkers. Whoa. <laughs> I think he just wanted to say that. Yes. All right. The new guy, do you remember the crazy death of John Wheeler back in 2010? The Bush official who was found murdered in a landfill. Uh, vaguely. The Unsolved Mysteries episode about him was a trip. Oh, was that the Netflix Unsolved Mysteries? The new one with, uh, was it Dennis Farina? Or I forget I'm who. not sure. It's just not the same without Robert Stack. You can't have Unsolved he Mysteries was that without show. Robert Stack. That dude, they could have no music playing. He could be sitting in a perfectly white room with nothing spooky at all, no smoke machines, and Robert Stack would still creep me out. Just talking. Just talking, that guy creeped me out. Armand, thank you for the five. Okay, what about over here? No? Okay, we gotta find that yellow door again. Joseph Young, thank you for the 20. Because I've got it, right? Work is mandatory to survive, but entertainment is the means by which people engage. I, I've read this one yeah. already. New guy, thank you for the five. Okay, must be... Great Scalzini, thank you for the five. We're gonna shelve the impersonations because we're coming up on the uh, on the time limit here. And also hate crimes. Yes. That should probably be higher on the list. Probably. Not on this channel, it's not. Eh? Did you watch my Michelle Obama video for crying out loud? Emperor creatine, but for the unsolved mysteries stories, based. <laughs> yes, dude, did you watch the one on Vince Foster? No. They basically just said Bill Clinton killed him, like <laughs> on unsolved mysteries on primetime television. It's so kill, and I think Clinton was still in office at the time. Like, they they did not care. That show was great. There's nothing like that. All the little 
problem gl- glasses princesses with their little true crime podcasts with no criminal investigative expertise at all, by the way. If you're going to watch a true crime show on YouTube, and I'm, I like true crime, but if you're gonna, watch someone who actually knows what they're talking about, right? Like a retired detective or something, or like a, uh, have you ever watched uh, Unsolved No More? Taryn? Mm. Sorry, I was uh, I was uh, moderating the chat. What'd you say? Uh, have you ever watched Unsolved No More? No. It's like a really good YouTube channel. It's like a retired detective, or I think he still does some detective work or something, but he's mostly retired. And all he does is go down some of his cases, but also like famous cases. And this is an actual homicide detective. And he does the standard like, victimology probability versus possibility you know he actually goes through the methodology of a real working detective and it's really cool it's it's really good way better than god you type in any murder and you get that bald retard in the beard with the dumb hipster glasses every time and he never knows what he's talking about the the so-called historian guy do you know what i'm talking about no i'm not familiar with that any murder any unsolved murder this retard pops up in your he is talentless he's unentertaining is all he's got is his editing and he has no clue about criminal justice or crime or history or anything i think it's over here yes Yes, 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 yes. Do you know how little that narrows it down? Oh, God. No, it's this specific... <laughs> You're not wrong, but it's this specific guy. And he's all... There's not one video where he doesn't find a way to work like a modern socio-political lefty talking point in it, right? Oh, it's a murdered hooker in 1921. So we're going to talk about the plight of sex workers. Like, oh, shut up. x Zeno. Canada is a dystopian nightmare. You probably saw the C-63 online harms HP. Oh, no. Please annex us. I'm begging. Right. Does that bald guy have a British accent? Ah, uh, does he? I think he might. I, I avoid his videos so much now, I can't even remember. But he used to, he pops, he still pops up in my feed all the time. Because he's, he's shilled so hard by the algorithm. So hard. But it's any, any murder. Go type in, uh, one of the reasons is because, you know, I did that Double Z audiobook for The Shadow. And, uh, the, that pulp story is based on a real murder from the time. Walter Gibson, of course, used to be a crime reporter. And, uh, it's a serial killing that everyone's forgotten about, but it was kind of pre-Zodiac killer. It was one of the first real, maybe the first, real American serial killer. And it was, uh, the 3X murders. And if you look that up on YouTube, all it is is armchair, problem glasses, Priscilla's with their crappy true crime broadcasts all injecting their modern socio-political pablum into discussing the story. I would love that real detective guy to actually tackle that story because it's fascinating. The the letters that were left at the scene, like you hear these cliches uh, like in bad crime fiction and stuff about, oh, and there's like a crumpled up note in the hand of the victim that gives you hints and is written in code. This guy actually did that. The 3X killer actually did that. He killed someone off like in a lover's lane, kind of like the Zodiac killer, and literally left a note in the hand of the victim that claimed that he was a secret agent, part of a secret like Russian society or something who was out there to sign. And this was right after the October Revolution. This happened in 1930. Who was out to... uh, punish and silence members of his secret society and that was why he murdered this guy he murders the guy and then he kidnaps the woman and walks her to public transportation so she can go away it's freaking fascinating this case that's what that shadow story double z is based on anyway i was look you can't find anything about this case anymore it's gene it's freaking fascinating 
And I'd love to know more about it. There's no books about it. Nothing. It just kind of got forgotten over time. And the only people who talk about it are these soy pod true crime podcasts. It's maddening. It's absolutely maddening. I'd love for there to be a based true crime podcast. Actually, there is. Blaine Pardo does one, I think. Blaine Pardo should cover the three X murders on his uh, podcast. Robert Stack reading a grocery list. Yes! Seriously. Lunch meat. The night for dinner. Right? Tonight, maybe you can set a table. New guy, thank you for the 10. Alexi and Fox. What the? Thank you for the five. What's... Kevin B. the man in the van, arguably America's first serial, serial killer, was a Native American here in southern Nevada. I Brown... thought it was the Mormon guy, the, the Mormon angel of death. Anybody heard of that guy? What's his name? Uh... He was, uh, this is during the Old West period. This is during the frontier period. This guy killed. Oh my god, dozens of people. And apparently this guy killed people around the time they built the Hoover Dam. Hmm. It could be. I've never heard of him. But the, the Mormon angel of death, look that guy up. He was like all hooked up with the Mormons in Utah, but he operated all around Arizona and Utah and that whole region. Porter Rockwell? Yes, Porter Rockwell. And he looks crazy. Look up a picture of him. Freaking, he's got the crazy eyes. Dude, Taryn's doing it. I gotta see his reaction. Holy fuck. I told you! Yeah, that guy kills people. Yes, he does! <laughs> yes, he does! <laughs> oh my god, this room scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you know that first picture of him here? Yeah. That kind of looks like the coal bearer. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Huh? Okay, that can't. So what did flipping that switch do? Creature. Joe, listen here, fat. I'm here to chew bubblegum. And eat Big Mike's link. What? And I'm all out of bubble gum. What? <laughs> uh, the new guy. Do you sketch straight with ink? Uh, do you have a drawing table? I do have a drawing table, but it's not set up. I usually just draw wherever. Um, and uh, I I do sometimes sketch with straight ink, but usually I'll do a layer of pencil first, and then my favorite part though is inking. Oh. Hello. I didn't notice that. Didn't really seem liberty. He looks Eyes. like he remembers a little more than a pegged farm. What? Well, Kevin B, the man in the van. That Native American serial killer was so crazy that even Native Americans gave him his name, which means loosely translated babbling. Interesting. Grant Ferris loved the Testament song at the beginning, especially one off of The Ritual. The Ritual. Great record. Hey, we found Jan! Mr. E, thank you for the 10. We found her. Let's go. Thanks, I thought I was done no for. No time for hugs. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No time for expressions of affection, you loony bent. Pepperidge Farm. Well then, fucking check your message. That's a cool looking it. ship. Cousin Eddie, we all know Mormons were batshit crazy. Look up the MDR bullpup. <laughs> Dawnbreaker, think of the 20. Speaking of unsolved mysteries, have you ever heard of the Phantom Killer? 
He was the Zodiac Killer before the Zodiac Killer. Uh, he was never identified. The first Friday of the 13th mask was based on his on his mask. I think I have uh, heard of him dimly, but I haven't looked into the case. That's cool. I'll have to look into that. Emperor Creatine, who was that guy who would kill Indians, take a bite out of their liver, and... Oh, liver eating out. Johnson! Yeah. Yeah, they made a kind of loosely based that um, Robert Redford movie on him. Yo! Take damage! Thank you. We need to hurry up, buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm skimming through. General Lisa from Liberty, I would go back in time to see what really happened to Travis Walton. Armand, historical events. Maybe just double check a few numbers from recent elections. Oh yeah. See where ballot dumps came from. Yeah, see what happened in the JFK Nixon election. Or in the LBJ Goldwater election. Those were kind of some shifty results. Or when a certain pipe burst. Sultan of Snark. Ooh, go back in time and witness the Battle of Athens. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. people really right. pay money to see this stuff. Jovan and whoa. Sultan of Snark, thank you for all the bits. Ah! I'm getting shot! Something jumped up and bit me. Oh, there's just switches everywhere. It's Brazen Brand. Thank you for the five. Shake it on. Thank you for the five. Okay. Such a weird map. Oh! There we go. All right, all right, all right. Zedekai, thank you for the 20. On the topic of April, remember when Andre Pack Nerd proclaimed that the only reason people didn't like Black April was because they couldn't spank it to her? Turns out he really likes feet. Oh, I, I could have gone my entire life not knowing that. Comma J, were there any Civil War vets that fought in World War I? Uh, doubtful. Doubtful. Go back in time and save all the lost shadow radio dramas. Oh, yes! Better yet save the shadow radio drama series that has not been preserved there were two shadow radio dramas ahead of the orson wells famous one before that they had a shadow radio drama series that was apparently closer to the pulps and the voice was frank reddick the original shadow so the one that actually does the if you listen to the radio shows the like who knows what evil works that guy that voice he did the voice of the shadow and um, it was apparently based off of the pulps. It was a lot closer to that. It was kind of a 30-minute show like the 1937 one. And it only lasted like one season and no episodes have survived. Dude, I would love to hear that one. I'll get to yours oh. at the very end, Copper Owl. I'm just... I'm, I'm... Keep in mind, we still keep these in a list so we can yeah. get to them next week if we need to. <laughs> Go back in time and shoot Lincoln a second time. <laughs> thank you, Dylan. Go back in time just for the double tap. Vault 5 Dweller, thank you for the two. Rhodesian Richmond. Uh, thank you for the two. Like that, 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 like that. Third position Mallow, thank you for the 20. <laughs> I got an SKS Type 56 recently. Love it so far. I can't I'm... wait for Ghost of the Badlands, Godspeed. Right on. I can't wait till you guys can read it. I think you're going to dig it. Jacob, what do you think of Accept's new single ha uh, humanoid? I almost played it before the show. I almost played it before the show. 
I love it. It's great. They just except don't know how to release bad albums anymore. They have they have lost that ability. David, thank you for five. Skeptical uh, skeptical panda, thank you for the five. Oh! Okay. That, that. Boring conversation, anyway. Bartimaeus, I would like to go back and see who the sea people were in the Bronze Age. Maybe they're Mexicans. Maybe it's spelled S I. Yeah. Alabaster Scarf, I like my women like the, the way I like my forces. Dark. What? <laughs> uh, Cajun Mike, I played all these games as a kid. My PC was basically a LucasArts machine. Yeah, dude, a lot of people's machines were LucasArts. Man, Disney, it cannot be overemphasized how Disney closing down LucasArts was retarded. It's hilarious, too, because, like, Bob Iger just made a statement recently where he's like, we really, we really, uh, missed out on video games and whatever. Like, we really did. It's like, you closed a bunch of video game studios as soon as you became the head of Disney, you retard. Well, listen. Uh, do you think we'll get an HD X-Wing TIE Fighter or X-Wing Alliance? I know we will get Jedi Knight, for sure. And if that does well, why in the world would they not do X-Wing versus TIE Fighter and stuff? Dude. People love those games. Night, Night Diver just crushing it with the, with the remakes and remasters. Iron Rider, thanks for the stream. After a week of helping ship out mini car filters from the auto parts warehouse I work at, it was a filter sale after all. Uh, Kevin B, the man in the van. Uh, I hope I... Uh, thoughts on nuclear power and how we can revive it? And have you seen the movie Nuclear Now? Uh, I don't think I have. My thoughts on nuclear power, like, it's... For the most part, it's safe. With with the proper amount of security, it's... I see no reason why we should... We discovered it a long time ago. It works. It's ridiculous that it's, like, the one thing the environmentalists do not want us to use because of all this silly alarmist propaganda in the 70s and 80s that was super anti-nuclear, which it turned out, by the way, after the Berlin Wall fell, that a lot of that was funded by the KGB, the anti-nuclear stuff. Why? Because Russia wanted to get a, a heads up on us, right? They wanted an advantage in the nuclear race. So they were, like, literally funding eco-propaganda in the States to slow us down on progress. And we're still repeating it in 2024. And now it's, now it's funded by China, and now it's, you know, global warming and whatever propaganda. And last one, Copper Owl, whoa, Mickey Haley. Whoa, whoa, no, ah, Palpatine, Palpatine. I want to, I want to, there's a Palpatine elevator. I am taking this elevator. Mickey Haley, your campaign is burning. Pull out. No, you said Trump would be a no. <laughs> and thank you very much to all the other donors tonight. Uh, we, sir, are out of time. Okay, everyone. Thank you all for joining us. And for Taryn Gill, I am Razorfist. God fucking spit.